Zookeeper live now. Link, you're kind of zoomed in right now, pal. Mm -hmm. you get closer. No, I don't want you to get wow. closer. <laughs> An engineer subbed for Click four months. here, chat. Hey. What took so long? People like you, Lord. That's what took so long. It's actually a skill issue. I'm posting on my Instagram story. I love your bug shirt. Thank you. It changes color in the sun. Except I've washed it like a dozen times, and so now it doesn't really change color in the sun. <laughs> it's really sad. It's really sad. It's really sad. A skill issue? Yes. Yes, that is what I'm saying. Do you know what that sound is? I'll give you 10 seconds to guess. Snooky. <laughs> Lobster. Connor. Chicken. Monkey. It's a chicken. Beach 565. It's a chicken. Subbed for 53 months. Damn, you're so shiny. Zorath! Is broken. Zora. Sixty six just subbed at tier three for four months. Thank you for the four months. Color in the sun too. What? People Stand by. I have to reopen. Is is broke? Stand by. I'm opening. It's loading. It's great. Um, Pilla, Ashley, Zorath, Beige, Engineer, Jake, Will, AirPods, Danza, thank you guys for the subs, thank you so much. Um, I see you now, I just tweeted, why is the chicken on the table? Uh, because, um, it's too hot outside. And they were getting, darker clouds, thank you. They were getting really hot outside and really pale. Um, and so we moved them in yesterday and we moved them in today as well. We're gonna give the chickens AC. Because the fans and the misters aren't enough. Um, and we're stressed about them not doing well in the heat. So. wow. Okay, on this call may resubbed for six months. Peepop, wow. wow. Okay, May, thank Jazz you, Jazz. Through, resubbed for 35 months. Thank you. Wow. Buzzy underscore zero resubbed for five months. Please bet Winnie, Siren, Stompy, Acero, and Georgie on the crows for me. Georgie doesn't like being pet, but I'll pet the rest of them. Wow. Tree Hugh resubbed for three months. Hi. Is she lying? Kind of sounds like she's lying. Um, everybody pray for space today. He needs to work in the studio uh, while the chickens are in here sounding like this for the whole day. Um, and also they're going to poop and it's going to smell bad. Um, so do you have a guest for today? No, I do not. But I do have a guest for tomorrow. It's s -Fand. I will say to you guys, um, s -Fand Nugget. Chicken noises, chicken noises, chicken noises. Right. Um, Ardently, tree hug, Lantash. Oh, don't. I can't read that. Pete. I can't. I'm sorry. It's been a long time. Um. Stolen army under oh, it's close. <laughs> I got the first and the last characters. That's huge. Um, Simpo, thank you for the prime. Um, stolen, thank you for the five gifted subs. Okay, so S Fan, S -Fan is coming here tomorrow at one o'clock for a collab. It's the first collab uh, in a while because uh, people bailed. So now we get to see if S Fan bailed, bails. 
I texted him. I asked if he still wanted to do a collab. He had several ideas, three of which I had to shoot down and explain why they were in poor taste. And the last idea that I, I gave him, or I said, okay, fine, is still in poor taste, but I had to concede a little bit for him to come here at all. He had some just, I'm not even gonna tell you what they are because you guys will think they're funny, but he had some just awful, awful ideas. And I was like, hey man, like, yes, we make a lot of jokes and like stream is supposed to be funny, but also I really am running an actual operation out here. Boris, Boris for nine I know it's been a while, Starting a job but in a nuclear power plant next week. Don't Boris, know what to think. thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, yeah, and he wanted to do a bunch of like surprise things where like, he did like a survivalist stream where he looked like he's been like in the woods for six days, but really he's just on my property and I like walk out and I'm like, dude, what are you doing here? But I was like, s -Fan, you realize we cannot advertise it at all then, right? And he's like, oh, it'd be so funny. <laughs> I was like, it's really not, it's not a normal stream. Anyway, um, so yeah, s -Fan is is going to come out here um, tomorrow at one o'clock and then... Apparently, we might have E-Rob out here again. I don't know. People wow. underscore is up for 51 months. Um. Are you okay? Pizza, thank you for the 51 months. Um, <laughs> so... Wow. Europe might be coming out again. I don't really know why. Rorica, thank you. Don't freak out, but there is a bug on your shirt. There's a lot of bugs on my shirt. Uh, Europe messaged me yesterday, and he's like, "Is there any work that needs to be done at Alves?" And I asked if his chat was bullying him again, and it turns out he was live, and that was what was happening. Wow. So he might have to come out here and work for again. Red, thank you for the People 17 Park. months. Wow. Puyamon. Thank you for the 14 Five months. So, yeah. Nick soon. I'm sure Nick will eventually come out here, but, I, you know, I, I mean, I've asked Nick to do a collab before. Nick doesn't like coming out here. Nicole underscore G52 Nicole. Months. Did you hear about the baby giraffe born without spots? Yes, I did. I was sent that post on Instagram. I haven't looked into it, but it did look kind of crazy. Uh, yeah, Nick doesn't like coming out here. One, his allergies are terrible. Two, it's a lot of work. And three, uh, we have bugs and animals, which are a non-starter for Nick. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, Me's a thesis lord is up for 10 Thank you so much for your contribution. All right, you guys. Are we ready? Today, you may have seen the title. If you have, excellent. Um, if you know what that means, excellent. If you don't, I'll explain. We are doing YOFO. Thank you for the prime. We are doing... Chat plays Zookeeper again today, which means I give you guys options and you pick what we do for the animals. A zookeeping sim, if you will. Are you ready? The first poll that we have is with um, our resident, our resident green bird, Miss Siren. 
we will uh, run the poll and you guys can tell me what you want to do with Siren. I think the options are give her a Nutriberry treat. They love Nutriberry treats. They're like little, they're like this big and they have seeds and nuts and dried fruit and stuff in them. The parrots love them. Uh, number two is a sea shanty sing along because Siren has been learning a hoist the colors. May combine it with happy birthday a little bit, but that's okay. And option number three was a Siren talent show. Uh, you may you may be like, why, why would that be something that Siren likes to do? Well, Siren, because these are all things that we do for the animals, things that they will like. Siren likes sunflower seeds, and she likes doing things that she knows how to do. Because you tell her to spin, and then she spins, and then you get really excited, and she's like, wow, I'm, I'm incredible. So that's the third option. The plan for today, on my channel, you guys know how keeping streams work nowadays. We do half of the stream on my channel, half the stream on Alvaeus' channel today. So on my channel, we do Siren, the rats, Beetle, and... Mm. Stompy. Stompy, not in that order. And then on the Alveus, we'll switch over to the Alveus channel and then we'll do Winnie, the foxes, and the marmosets. If you want to see Winnie, the foxes, and the marmosets, wow. you gotta stay to the Full end of the stream. And the end of the stream is on the Alveus channel. The foxes, we have a tunnel, we have a spoonful of peanut butter option, we have a pill pocket treat option for Winnie. We have a squishy option, a sponge bath option, and a brush option. It'll be a really good time. Sea shanty sing along it is with Siren. Let's go get treats for her and then go sing with the bird. Time to go. It feels nice and it's really nice and nice outside. Let me grab a spray bottle just in case we run into problems. Stand by. I'm so sorry. Didn't think you were going to come back. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Guys, guess what that is? You don't know what that is either, huh? Guess what it is? Is that a dance floor? Mm. You know it's dance? No. A box, a stage, a box, a stage. Okay, okay really guys? <laughs> uh, the wolf is correct, that is Noodle's enclosure. Amazing. Um, chat has picked a sea shanty sing-along with Siren. Siren is great at sea shanties. Yes. So that is the plan. Off we go. Thank you, thank you. Frog Force, thank you guys for the subs. Um, yes, that is Noodle's new enclosure. You know how Noodle's old enclosure? I bought it. It's, it wasn't a cheap enclosure. It cost me $3,000. Um, but I bought it when I was doing rehab, wildlife rehab, and it just isn't meant to be taken down and wow. rebuilt. And so for every move that it did, every time it got built, it just got like broken down and like worse. So we had to get a new one for Noodle, but it's bigger, believe it or not, <laughs> even though Noodle's enclosure is already huge. It takes up the entire wall instead of just over 75% of the wall. Um, so yeah, Siren Jam, Tico Jam. Oh my God. Hmm. Chat, it's time to stall for a second because there are people in the we had a meeting this morning. That's why stream started a little later. It started at 12 because we had a meeting at 11 and Connor's giving a tour to the people that came here to do the meeting. Um, and they're in the parrot aviary. So uh, instead we will give the goats some treats. I have some in my, in my truck. We'll go get them. Guys. Coming up, September 22nd is the next merch launch, okay? We have more merch coming September 22nd. 
Um, and I'm gonna go ahead and leak because I feel like we're gonna accidentally leak, which is less hype anyway, um, that the merch drop is for Stompy September, <laughs> okay? Um, and these are technically horse treats, but we're gonna give some to the goats because I think they'll like them. I keep them in my car for when I leave the property. Um, and then I can stop by the fence and give treats to the pasture. Paul B19 resubbed for seven months. Huge. Huge. Holby, thank you. Tilios, thank you. Um, I need a new hat and I love that goofy chicken. How did you know that? I don't think he did. I think I just leaked, actually. Anyway, it's Stompy September. Um, and we are setting up like. We are. Thank you so much. We are setting up a Stompy Disneyland in the training center, if you will. Okay, all of Stompy. Pee Wee's peeing. Good job, buddy. Come here, Pee Wee. Pee Wee. Hurry before you get bullied. Run, 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 run. She's coming. This is for you. It's a treat. Okay, well, you don't have to cry about it. It's for you. Here you go. Does it not pee often? No, he pees all the time. Here you go. dropping them and I can't give them to you. <gasps> no, I'm not giving you any more beetle. That was really mean. Kylie, this is for you. It's a horse treat. Do you know what that is? She's never had these. It's for Kylie, not you. Oatmeal, if I come over there and give you a treat, are you going to be nice about it or no? There's a plate right there, so you can't show her. She won't eat it. I'm not going over there. All right, well, that's it. Here, hey, hey. Ah! No! Look, all the treats, they're over there. Go eat them. Pee-wee, it's okay, buddy. You'll be okay, I promise. You want to come with me? I'll show you guys what the plan is for the merch launch, okay? So, training center, yes? You're all familiar? Okay, great. So, Stompy September, we're going to build a corridor for Stompy to walk from the pasture into the training center. And then, in the training center, In the training center, whoa. It's gonna be Disneyland, okay? So, over here, we have farmer's market, fruit and veggie stand, so Stompy can eat fruits and vegetables. Does he like to eat them? Only like one out of seven days of the week. Sometimes he'll eat like several pieces of produce and sometimes he's not interested in anything. But we're gonna give him a farmer's market anyway. All right, back here, water park. Everybody knows Stompy loves a good splash pad. Uh, we have put several items on the wish list that were already purchased. And we're going to set up a whole water park, multiple splash pads, car wash style sprinklers. Excellent. Over here, playground enrichment boards. We're making Stompy large enrichment boards where we screw in rings, bells, other metal, because Stompy loves trying to eat metal. So then Stomp, he can come over here and he can, he can play with the boards, okay? Over here. Dessert table. 
By that, I think I'm literally just gonna do one grain cake where like it's cardboard and it opens up and there's grain inside so he can eat grain. In other activities for Stompy September, uh, Caleb, Alex, and Connor are gonna race and we're gonna see how fast they can run because Stompy can run 31 miles an hour. Is Stompy going to race them? No, because I'm not, they have to race out there and we're not letting Stompy just go out there because it's dangerous. But we'll just assume if they're if they're not as fast as 31 miles an hour that they lose to Stompy. Is it possible that any of them are faster than 31 miles an hour running? Uh, quite literally, no, it's not. But we're gonna tell them that they could win. So that's the plan. It's the next merch drop in September. Um, I'm excited about it. I think it'll be good. I think it'll be good. Our new style for merch, I, the first drop did exceptionally well, like just wow. disgusting. Like we did so not cool. think yeah. <laughs> that it would do that well, but it did so well. Um, we're gonna do, the, the goal is to do them quarterly, so four per year. And every time there'll be different designs and different themes, different items too. Um, we're already, wow. we're working on several different I'm items. Like so it's not gonna be like a hoodie and a t-shirt every time. Six months. Pop. Wow. Limelight, thank you. Did she do the monkeys yet? No, the monkeys are uh, on the Alvea stream today. This is the second half. First half we got Parrot, Stompy, the rats, and Beetle. Second half of the stream, monkeys, foxes, baby cow. Siren. Hello. Okay. Good start, everybody. Good start. Good. Albert. Chat, it's called the, the AP swap, stand by. Okay, when we go, when we come down here, it has to, the Wi-Fi has to swap access points. We have another access point down here. So that's why that happens, sorry, sorry, sorry. Siren, can you come here? They picked something for you to do. You come here. Yeah. Hello, you wanna go down that way? Oh, you shortcut, a shortcut. Hello, Birdie. <laughs> Hello, are you excited? Look at the chat. Zeno frame underscore is up for four months. E money level. What? <gasps> are you whistling? That is so nice. That's so nice. You guys, this is Siren. If you're not familiar, she's a blue fronted Amazon. She loves talking while I'm talking. People really love her. People love all of our parents. We have them though as ambassadors for the exotic pet trade. A lot of people think they want parrots as a pet. Don't realize how loud they are. Don't realize that they can chew through wood, bite through your fingers, break skin. They can cause hearing loss because they are so loud. Siren's really great at showing everybody how loud and obnoxious they can be. On top of all these things, they are in Notice it's only while I'm talking. On top, on top of all of those things that I. Seven geo six months. On top of all those things that I just described, these birds in particular can live fifty to sixty years in captivity. We don't know how old Siren is, um, but uh. Hello. Yeah, so it's like having a toddler that can chew through wood and bite and cause hearing loss for 60 years, uh, which is just not realistic for most people. And so a lot of parrots end up in rescues. Um, 
Despite all of those things, people don't know about that, okay? The demand for parrots is still really high. Between 2010 and 2019, over half a million parrots were exported for the pet trade from the wild. These birds in particular, in particular have a super predictable, <laughs> super predictable nesting behavior. Um, they're always in the same trees. It's always at the exact same time of year, so they're really easy to poach. And so people will pick up baby sirens out of the wild um, and put them in the hubcaps of cars and you know go across lines um, and put them in PVC pipe and water bottles and ship them in cargo on airplanes uh, just to get them in the States. It has caused Blue Fronted Amazons uh, to have a declining population. That and habitat loss, but habitat loss is for every species on the planet. That is my spiel. Hi. Hi. So, Hello. That's a nice kiss. Hello. Happy birthday. Hello. Birthday. Birthday is very nice. Siren has also been learning sea shanties, okay? Hello. Sea shanties? Hello. So, Kayla, um, uh, has been trying to teach Siren the sea shanty, and it's really low. Siren, besides the sea shanty, only knows how to sing happy birthday. And so she kind of combines the two, but you guys chose a sea shanty sing-along. Here's Siren's version of Hoist the Colors. Birthday. She hit those notes. It's whatever word she wants, actually. Who cares about the actual words? Chat, would you like Siren Karaoke for one more song you get to pick? Incredible, amazing. Who taught her to sing happy birthday? I don't know, someone before us. She came, she came with the happy birthday in her arsenal. We really kind of messed up her happy birthday on accident. <laughs> but see, an encore. Never going to give you up. <sighs> Twitch chat. Thinks of one funny joke and it never goes away. What do you think of this? What do you think? What do you think? They're Rick rolling. Yeah. 
She's literally asking me what the heck this is. Hey, what is that? Mia? Mia? What do you think about this? She wants us to come back. What do you think? Good, me a damn. Siren, <laughs> can you sing happy birthday by chance? Happy birthday. Birthday. The other thing about parrots is that they need a lot of attention, and if you're not paying attention to them, they're a lot like a child uh, in that they will do anything to get it. Usually, that anything is not the ideal. Isn't that right? Is that funny? Great. It's like a little temper tantrum, a little bit. What even happened? I wasn't looking. Did you get knocked off because you came to bully someone? Is that... Can... Where are you going? You want to turn around? Can you step up? Are you upset? Can you say, oh... What terrible consequences for my actions? Uh, Can you say consequences? Uh, that was pretty close. Can you say, dang it? Can you say, I'm so sorry, man. I should let you have attention also because I get so much. It's only fair. I was a camp counselor for 10 years. I talk to parrots and men the same way I talk to those children. All right. Guys, that is it for the parrots. We also have these two macaws. Um, I won't do anything with the macaws um, because they don't want me to. <laughs> uh, but that, oh, wow, that's Tico. Uh, Tico's a blue and gold macaw. We also have Miley. She's a Catalina macaw. Um, but she is not interested in coming out, and Tico is not interested in being my friend. I really wish she was, though. Um, um, Tico does really great with Kayla, with Kayla and Ella, um, but the Truth is, I just don't spend enough time with Tico and Miley uh, for them to be fans of me. Uh, the macaws are especially particular about their people. Um, they're very, very smart birds. They're very sensitive. Um, and so they're notoriously challenging to train and work with. Saren, did you need a, a moment? Do you want to tell them something? Now that we're looking at you, you're good. Carefully consider parrots as your choice of pet, all right? And if you are going to get a parrot, some people ask me, like, I really want one, though. What kind? You can get, like, a cockatiel, all right? Or, like, something really small. But anything mid-size and up is usually a no-go for people. Um, just make sure whatever pets you buy, parrot or not, that they're captive bred. I don't want to buy a wild caught bird, that's not cool.
That's not cool. All right, next up we have Stompy. We're going up, we're doing a water break, and then we're gonna set up for Stompy's, Stompy's pole. That they are, that they are kept what? Huh? Um, make sure that they're, sorry, make sure that they're born in captivity. Uh, make sure they're not a wild caught animal that you're buying as a pet. Thanks for clarifying. This is so fun. Hooray! Welcome. Chat play zookeeper. Stompy's next. Uh, I wrote the options for Stompy this morning. I think they are splash pad, frozen watermelon, and five minute hug. I will warn you, if you guys know Stompy, you know that he's not really into produce. Will he eat frozen watermelon? It's a toss up. Probably not. <laughs> but I, I have, Stompy has eaten watermelon before. It's just some days he doesn't care about produce at all, so I don't know. But uh, you gotta pick one, okay? You gotta pick one. Did you fix the holes in the splash pad? Believe it or not, no, but I'm really glad you said that <laughs> because I will grab the things to fix it today and we will fix it, imagine. Look, it's a little peewee. Wow. It's a little peasel. B, you're on this list today, are you excited? I have to trim the goat's hooves. I'll show you, look at this. Are you gonna be nice and let me show them? You have to trim the outside edges here so that they don't grow in. So you just have to cut it so it's flush. Thank you so much. I need to trim all their feet today. And that, that's the dream, is to trim their feet today. It's not that easy though. <laughs> all right, water break, water break. I just wanna tell you how I feel. I just want... What's up? Nothing. What? I'm not eating your bounty or anything. We have, a dom we have Domino's bounties on my channel, I know that I said. It's fine, Connor. I said you guys could eat that. Just don't eat all of it, because I need it. I'm eating five of these. Wow, it's a lot. Would you like to try? Not right now. Don't have to eat. I might eat it all. Though. Should I just do it right now, Space? Um, or should I wait? I guess I could wait. probably wait a little bit. Okay, I haven't, I haven't been live long enough. Space instructed me that you just need a pepperoni one for yours. Um. Uh huh. You want <laughs> She's bread. Um, guys, Connor's birthday is coming up. I'm coordinating. I've been coordinating a birthday stream September 1st. It's crazy that you're doing that. Friday, September 1st. Thank you, but it's just another day. I appreciate it, though. Not anymore, Connor. Connor, what about when you gave me a whole box of almond joys on my birthday? I felt like would you do that? that would you do that on a normal day? I don't think so. It's the best day of the year. So anyway, um, we're getting Connor 29 gifts because he turns 29. Old. Old. I know what one of them is. He opened one of them because he opens my packages, which is illegal. Felony. Um, he, so there's a package with my name on it. He opened it because he thought it was he thought it was a sketchy package, and he opened it and it's um, it has a rooster on it and it says cock breath mints, and he was like, oh yeah, that sucks. Like a viewer sent these, like it's sad. And I was like, Connor, no, that's not what happened. But also, don't open my mail. It's not for you. It is for you, but that's not for you. It's a good joke. Thanks, I'm glad you think it's funny. I'm so thrilled that you think it's funny right now and not on September 1st. I'll forget about it. Don't you worry. Where'd you get your shirt? Love the butt. A couple people have asked that. I'm really sorry. I bought this at um, a museum somewhere. Frick. It was in Texas. And I think I was with Ella. 
I don't remember what it was. I'm sorry. Wow. Is it a museum now? for the first time. Abode, thank you. Um, do you know where the patches are for the splash pad? That we got in the P.O. box. We tried them. Oh, it didn't work. Do, were we going to use tape? Flex seal? We tried both. Doesn't work. All right, we're not fixing the splash pad today. But I ordered, have a new one on the wish list. Cool. If you guys splash are splash pad? Yeah. Um, Rainbow. Someone in chat said Alvaeus Baby Gorilla is arriving soon. No, that's not happening. Just need to visit every museum in Texas to find out. Yeah, good luck. Texas is a big state. Wow. Jin Foxy is up for four months. Jin Foxy, thank you. Was the poll run and is it done? No. Oh, can you run the Stompy poll, please? Why not use the pool? We are uh, making some changes to the pool and trying to put a ramp and stuff there so that Stompy wish doesn't. List. It's on the wish list so Stompy doesn't get hurt getting in and out. We've kind of put the pool on hold. All right, for Stompy, you guys, you want a splash pad, frozen watermelon treat, or a five minute hug? I made it 10 minutes this morning and I was like, that's like a really long so time. Hard, man. Yeah. I just want to tell you how I feel. Also, guys, Connor is going to start posting some TikToks for Alvaeus. He's going to start filming, editing, and posting some TikToks for Alvaeus. Um, so if you see some on there and you're like, what, what is this? This isn't Max's excellent TikTok prowess. It's because it's Connor. I'm me doing the WAP dance. No, he's not. He doesn't even know what that is. What? I'm so good at TikTok. All right, we're at 40% splash pad, 39% five-minute hug, 21% frozen watermelon treat. Why don't you do all three? Because that's not... You're low on content That's not anyway. the stream. No, I'm not, actually. It's chat plays zookeeper. They have to pick. Mooks 2,147 risk for four months. Moose! Thank you. Oh God, it is neck and neck with the first and third. Honestly, respect for not picking the second one. I think you'd be really disappointed. I don't think he's gonna be into frozen watermelon. I think he'd go like, he'd peck it and then be like, and spit it out. Especially cause it's hot. I just want to tell you how I feel. Uh, did you see Mia's Mia Jam? Me? Oh. It was good. It was a good one. I was giving that to Ooh! Give me some of that. Please. Okay. Shot yesterday at like 8.30. I was like, man, I wish I had some Dr. Pepper right now. And I didn't. And then I asked Connor to put it on the wish list. But I don't want the normal size cans because it's too much. I want like the little, that's so much. Um, <laughs> I want like the little cans that are skinny because I can't drink this much Dr. Pepper. <laughs> Otherwise, I'll die. Also, I drank a Red Bull the other day. Flip can confirm. I drank a Red Bull. I was not okay at all. Tom Clark, thank you for the five gifted subs. Thank you. Thank you for the 10 months. You do great work, man. Up, so you want the baby ass cans? Yes. I drank a yeah, Red Bull, but I drank it too fast and I hadn't eaten enough. And I uh, wow. dry oh, yeah, heaved in the Nuthouse bathroom time. for several minutes oh, wow. in the middle of filming. It was so cringe. Time. I was so ill. If you drink another one... I can't have that much would, caffeine that fast. It would have saved you. No, I would have died. I really think you'd have to go take me to the hospital and put my stomach. I don't think I would do well in the military. Um, also, I have planned Superstars. Superstars is oh, on Connor's birthday, actually. September 1st is Superstars. This is the 
Yes. It's <laughs> for Georgie, okay? I'm kind of trying to go, not exactly, but I'm kind of trying to go in general reverse order from my animal quests because the point of Superstars, everybody plug your ears. Except for like 10 of you. Figure that out amongst yourselves. Um, the point of Superstars is to do a fun thing and like throw in a little bit of education in there, but they don't know that that's happening, you know? Um, for the most part, it's just like fun. Uh, but I'm trying to go in reverse order of the animal quest so that we can do, we can have ambassadors on Superstars that I haven't like talked about in depth for a long time. So we're doing Georgie because Georgie's, Georgie's animal quest was a long, long, long time ago. And for Georgie, you might be thinking, well, what could we possibly give Georgie that would make him exceptionally happy? Um, and the answer is we're going to put on a magic show for him. Space, I haven't told you this yet. <laughs> so I need two cams. <laughs> I need a studio cam and I need a Georgie's live reaction camera. He'll be on the table and there will be a Georgie live reaction cam. Connor and I have ordered magic supplies and we're both gonna learn magic tricks and dress up and we're gonna put on a magic show for Georgie. A private show. I got some wicked magic in my back pocket. It's gonna be crazy. So I think I he'll like it a lot. I suggest bringing a change of clothes, Maya. I did turn around. Connor and I work back to back, right? <laughs> I turned around because we were talking about we didn't want to buy the same magic kit because we were like picking stuff. And in his Amazon search bar, it said adult prank set. Oh, I got some wicked stuff. It's not a prank show. It's a magic show. So I still it's don't know what he's bogus. doing with that. It's bogus. Underscore Teen and underscore C3 resubbed for two months. We'll go my and Elvius crew Peppo love. Thank it's, you. It's magic when the floor falls out from underneath you and you fall into a pit of fake snakes. Pop, wow. Go Flip, for you want to be a part of the magic show? Wow. You want to do some magic? No. You look like you would... You know, like, like a magic. card trick. Yeah, you look like you know, like, a card trick. Nope. Do you know any magic? No. You do, right? Nope. Admit you know at least one magic trick. No, it's wrong. He has to. No. Flip wears, like, beads. He knows a magic trick. <laughs> <laughs> he is magic. I know black magic. Of course you do. <laughs> I know witchcraft. I know a lot about witchcraft, actually. So do I. Really? Yeah, you want to join a coven? Which one? <laughs> Not one of the ones you've been interested <laughs> <laughs> in. Alright, Flip and I have a lot to talk about. And we got another special thing happening in September, that's it for sure. I told them. Oh, okay. I told them and I leaked another thing that I wasn't supposed to. But um, yeah, Stompy September. September 22nd. Training center. Be there. Or be square. What else did you leak? That, uh, that there's a hat. Did you, um, you yeah. leaked about the sub, sub, subathon? Oh, I didn't tell them that. Okay, oh. well. <laughs> <laughs> it's happening. Connor, I don't think, have you talked, you haven't talked to Space about that either. No, but it's going to happen. Connor wants to do another subathon in September. Because it's September. And because I need PTO days. Why do we just lose a thousand viewers? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what, what happened? Oh, oh no. Probably what? Mm. Guys, don't be so upset. <laughs> you don't have to storm out like that. Okay. Um, we're going to go give Stompy... Is it closed? It's 44 to 40%. We're going to give Stompy a splash pad. Wow. <laughs> Never seen before on this channel. Stompy splash pad. Are you ready? Excellent. Have fun. Thank you, thank you. Hello, little goat. Hello. Okay. Guys, this is Tripper. Tripper's feet are going to be the hardest because she has never had her feet done. Um, and she's, because she lived on like a, she lived on a farm for over a year. I got her because she was going to be shipped off to auction for meat because she's too short. And so he didn't want to breed her because he wants taller goats. 
That's also why her name is Tripper, because she's short and she goes between your legs and trips you. But I, when I was taking care of the farm, I liked her a lot because she's really friendly. Um, and she's really, really cute. Look at her. Uh, and then <laughs> when he was telling me which ones he was going to send off to auction, he was like, yeah, that short yearling, I'm going to send her too. She just won't get taller. And I was like, oh my god, that's so relatable. What if someone sent me to, to auction to my death just because I'm short? That's really messed up. And now she lives here. Anyway, her feet have never been done, uh, which, so she's like omega overdue. She walks fine. She's not in pain or anything. It's just like having really long fingernails. Are you in jail? <laughs> Who put you in jail? She can get out. The gate's open. She put herself in jail. This is Pee Wee McNugget. He was also going to go to auction to, oh, he's scared. <laughs> it's, I'm not going to send you to auction. I'm just saying you were going to go. Um, because he was an orphan, and um, he's uh, really short as well. He's, he's just not going to get tall enough to where the guy would want to keep him to breed. Um, and I bottle fed him because his mom died right after birth, and his fat sister hogged their surrogate mom's udder, and he got nothing. And so I would supplement him with a bottle every day. And because I did that, obviously, I couldn't let him go to auction because I love him. Bits, sticker repair. Thank you for the bits. Pee-wee? What do you think? Thank you. You can't eat my fingers. Ah! Ow! Fun fact, goats only have teeth on their bottom row, so they can't really bite you. But it still doesn't feel good when they scrape their teeth on your, on your hands. I wish I could meet Pee Wee. His full name is Pee Wee McNugget. The Pee Wee part came from him being small as heck, obviously. And the McNugget part came from, I just giggled when I thought of it as a last name for him. So it stuck. Down there we have Siren screaming. Peruge. No middle name? Pee Wee does not have a middle name. Unless McNugget's his middle name and his last name's Higa, I don't know. Siren? Hello? Okay. She's fine. Don't worry. Up here, ahead to the right, a little bit, we have a baby cow. Baby cow has her moment later today on the Alveus channel on the second half of the stream. Her name is Winnie the Moo. She's a red Angus and she's found a, a spot of shade to relax in. Is it nice? Do you have anything you want to say to the people today? Not really. Winnie was born March 22nd. Um, so she is now what is that, a year and a half old? Yeah, almost a year and a half. Her half birthday's coming up. So this is Winnie. She's a bit of baby cow. We match. Yes, this was my hair and spell. And that's Stompy. Oh, drama. Oh, oh. Winnie, technically, it's actually Stompy's time. I was just saying hi to you. But 
get bodied, I guess. You want a splash pad? Hi, chicken. Come on. They want you to have a splash pad. She looks depressed. Winnie? I will say, okay, a lot of people actually, and it's, it's not really a fault of theirs because why would they know any different? I think that people expect animals to share similar expression. Are you gonna get that cricket? She almost had that. Um, people expect animals to have like a similar expression to people. So if it, if it like, you know, I'm looking for a good example. Oh, good example. Online, there's a, I don't even remember the name of it, otherwise I would say it. Um, <laughs> but there's some like reptile people on TikTok that just like do a terrible job. Just mishandle the reptiles and there's a bunch of viral videos of them petting an alligator, like, like scrubbing an alligator. And because its mouth is open and it looks like a panting dog, people are like, oh, he's so happy, he's smiling. Uh, when really for an alligator, it's a very clear sign of stress. Same thing with birds, like bald eagles and hawks and owls. They have a really heavy and a really set occipital ridge. Ours is very flexible, like you can see a lot from people's eyebrows and dogs' eyebrows uh, for what emotions they're feeling. But for birds, they kind of always look mad because of the way their face is set and it reminds us of what we look like when we're mad. But across species, it's just, it's not the same, you know? Um, so that's my like general addressing that comment is uh, Winnie's definitely not depressed. I think she has a pretty good life here. She's pretty happy, but if there's something on her face that reminds you of what you look like when you're sad, uh, it doesn't necessarily mean the same thing for a different species. Does that make sense? Here you go, Stomp. Here's your splash pad. We really, you need a, a new one. Honestly, the splash pad has had way more uses than I expected it to. Excuse me. Chill out. Hello, can you not? People <laughs> pug, wow. Funk for Zoot resubbed for 24 months. Hello. Thank you for the 24 months. Stop. Stompy's really passionate about pecking me today. That's okay, it happens. Stompy. Stompy. These cargo shorts are cool. I'm glad you think so because they may be shorts forever. These are like the zip off ones. They're actually pants, but I don't know where the bottom part are because I haven't had I haven't worn them as pants in a long time. Look it's happening! Stumpy! Splash pad! Let's see if I can hold this. This is the worst hole. I don't think he'll let me hold it here. He's gonna come peck me. I I'm holding there's a hole. Okay I'm doing this for you. It just takes a minute for the splash pad to warm up, okay? Mm -mm. No. No. <laughs> just enjoy your time, okay? Don't be cringy. No! No. Yes, that's fine. No! Okay, you know what? Forget it. <laughs> I'm putting the rock on it. And it's just gonna leak because that's what Stompy wants. Reminded her to fix it. No, I didn't forget. Remember, I talked to Connor about it up there. The patches and the flex seal tape doesn't work, so we just have to order a new splash pad. Please, Stompy, just. Just like enjoy your splash pad. Why are you being so much today? Good job. Yay, so fun water. Wow. Yum, delicious. <laughs> Go away. Oh. <laughs> Go 
please. Why don't you go peck flip or something? Stompy's a common emu. He was the first ambassador that we got at Alves. Um, no. He was born at a zoo in California. His parents didn't incubate the egg, though. They didn't sit on him. They abandoned his egg, and so he was incubated in captivity or under human care and was, uh, was raised by people, imprinted on people. And that's why he's here. Um, so he was the start of our education programs here. Oh, there's a cricket. It hopped out. Um, the reason I wanted an emu is so I could teach people about the exotic meat trade. Um, emu meat was really popular in the 90s as an alternative to red meat. Became less popular uh, just because the infrastructure couldn't hold up to what the beef industry is. Um, and while the emu meat industry didn't really affect wild populations because there are so many emus and they do so well in the wild, uh, there are a lot of exotic animals that are passed around in the meat trade, the exotic meat trade, whose populations are detrimentally affected by it. Um, and so Stompy's kind of an ambassador for that, and so I can talk about the consumption of exotic animals and, yeah, how that affects wild populations. There's a whole video of Stompy on the Alveus channel if you want to check it out. Um, it's uh, on the emu war. Because there was a war with emus in Australia in 1932. How fast can they run? 31 miles an hour? Any EU folks want to translate that? What is that in kilometers per hour? Maybe like, I don't know, 12, 12, I don't know. Oh, is it the other way? Oh, right, because 60 miles an hour is like 100 kilometers per hour. 50 kilometers per hour, 49, nice. Kilometers are used in Canada too, oh right. I forget, it's like America, but figured out. Stompy, no! Where are you going? How high can he fly? Uh, emus are not flighted birds. Oh no, he's gonna get confused. Stompy, go around the gate. He's not flighted, but uh, he did take a plane from California to here. Stompy, you gotta go around. Yeah! Yeah! Go no! <laughs> do it have arms? Yes. Stompy has little baby wings that do absolutely nothing. They do have a claw at the end of each one. It's kind of cool, but they're for nothing. Does he have a bird brain? Stompy's brain takes up about 0.06% of his body mass. You can call that a bird brain if you want, but the phrase bird brain is kind of silly because there are actually some birds that are like exceptionally smart, like brain mass to body mass ratio, primate level smart, whatever that means. Really hard to quantify things like that. Yay, chicken in the splash pad. I don't know if you just heard that. That's Stompy vocalizing. Did you hear that like weird growling noise? Oh my gosh, okay. So the reason, I don't know if you've heard me say she, um, the reason I still have a hard time between calling Stompy male and female is because for the first year of his life, we thought he was a girl. Because you just have to guess, they look the same. Um, but male and female adult emus have different vocalizations. The females do this low drumming noise, and the males make this pepe bass noise that Stompy used, just made a couple times. It's kind of like a, there it is. It's like a growling almost. Some people describe it as like a burp. So, Oh, delicious. Can you do a vocalization, perhaps? Please, please.
please. What does he eat? Um, he has grain. It's, it's emu grain, the same way your dog has dog kibble. It's like special made for emus. He also eats horse grain though, because he likes it. But they can eat lots of things. They can also eat insects. Uh, so I've heard people feed their emus dog food, cat food, as a treat. Um, they can eat lots of stuff. It's back on. God, I hate this phone. It's it so hot. They don't have distinct gender-specific organs. Sex-specific organs, um, no, not that we can see. Um, so for these birds, all they have is a cloaca, right? Or birds have a cloaca, um, most birds. There are some exceptions, right? But a cloaca is one hole for everything, for reproduction, for feces, for urates. Um, and so there's no external genitalia that you can see on an emu. Like snakes. Snakes do have a cloaca. Snakes also have a hemi penis. They have a two headed penis. How do they have sex? Uh, it's called a cloacal kiss. I don't think I really need to describe that to you. I think you can, you can guess what that means. Describe it. It's so literally just t touching cloacas together and exchanging fluids. Stompy's weight. Um, I have no idea. I think adult emus. Man, this is really bad that I, because it's like quite literally twice the size. I don't remember if it's 100 or 200 pounds max weight. I want to say it's 200 pounds, but I don't think that's right. Maybe it's 100. Which one is it? Can somebody confirm? Is it 100? How tall is he? Uh, at his head, I think he's about my height. Is it about five feet tall? Probably about a hundred. Wow, amazing. He's having a good time. What's the difference between an ostrich and an emu? Ostriches are bigger. Those are gonna be the largest, largest birds. Um, also flightless birds. Also uh, ratites, which is the family. So ostriches, rheas, cassowaries, emus, they're all in the same family. Um, these are Australian birds, emus are. Ostriches come from Africa. Um, and they look different. Ostriches have darker feathers with like the white wing tips and a lighter head. Emus have a darker head and the blue on their head as well. But they're very similar. Can you ride emus like a horse? No, Stompy's too small for that. That would not go well. Ratites have the most dinosaur vibes out of modern dinosaurs. For sure, yeah. Um, birds are dinosaurs, and these guys in particular, uh, all of our modern birds, you know, 10,000 plus species of modern birds, are descended from theropods. Theropods were two-legged, three-toed raptors that had feathers <laughs> that were dinosaurs. If you look up theropod, T-H-E-R-O-P-O-D on Google, you'll see there's a lot of resemblance to birds like Stompy. Um, yeah, they are, they are quite literally dinosaurs. Wow. Can they swim? Yeah, 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 yeah. Stompy loves the water. Spell it again. T-H-E-R-O-P-O-D. Theropod. You are so smart. I appreciate that, but there's, it's one thing to be smart and another thing to have the same program for all the same animals that you do every single week. <laughs> you just, it's just memorization. <laughs> ah, chicken. Why do birds not smell bad? Some birds absolutely do smell bad, actually. I, I 
don't agree with that statement at all. They don't smell like dog poop, cat poop, like carnivore feces is the absolute worst, but bird poop smells bad. Chicken smells so bad. Duck smells so bad. Is it normal for birds to like water this much? Birds is very broad, right? I mean, we have like hummingbirds, penguins, emus, parrots, crows, falcons, right? Like there's, there's so many different types of birds. Is it normal for an emu to love water this much? I have never worked with an emu that loves water this much. Granted, I've only worked with about a dozen in my life, but Stompy loves water much more than I expected he would. But penguins probably love water more than Stompy does. And Siren definitely doesn't. Does he get soaked all the way through his feathers? No, he doesn't. You wanna do a close up flip? Stompy and all other emus have double shafted feathers. Each feather that comes out is one shaft, two feathers. Um, and so it makes it so he's dry underneath there. You see that? There's chicken, it's his, there's his chicken skin right there. Dry, 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 helps with insulation. Pretty cool. Can Stompy read or write? No. How did emus win a war against a country? Here's your party icebreaker. The year was 1932. <laughs> Australian farmers were given land uh, after the war and emus were a pest, an agricultural pest and ate all their crops, okay? Farmers didn't like that. They had a minister of agriculture, but instead they were so angry, they went to the minister of defense and they asked for permission to cull wild emu populations. They got permission. They went on, on several missions to try to cull emus. When I say cull, I mean kill as many as possible. Uh, and they were unsuccessful, even with machine guns. They rode in the backs of trucks with machine guns, tried to fire at emus, but emus can run at 30 miles an hour. They couldn't get them. They wasted so much ammo and killed uh, so few emus in comparison to how much ammo, ammo they were using that uh, the Minister of Defense called it off and they had to give up. And they basically, I mean, they, they didn't put a dent in the wild emu population. Uh, and so that's why people say that Australians lost a war to emus. That's what that story is. I think these cargoes are from REI, by the way, guys. Just like a, a fun fact for you, REI has a used clothes website. Um, is it's like REI secondhand or something? Look it up. People, anytime they return something from REI, even if it's like brand new, the prices on there are insane. Um, and you don't have to buy like a brand new, you don't have to buy brand new clothes. You can buy secondhand, which is better for the environment, but it's also way better because it's like half as much. Like these, these boots, I'm pretty sure I got these REI secondhand. And it's the kind of thing where like they're boots that are like $175, but I got them for like $60. You know what I mean? Check it out if you want outdoor clothes. REI resupply. Thank you. Yes, this was cold. So buy some of REI, return it, and then snipe it from the second hand. Well, no, that's, that's dumb. That's not, that's not, that won't work. Then you're going to spend more money. It's not an ad. Imagine that. <laughs> Be pretty sick. All right, chicken. Guys, what do you think? Stompy, did you enjoy your splash pad time? What's the name again? Stompy. Oh, REI Resupply. <laughs> Which one? I don't know. I got my boots from there. I think I did too. I don't trust him. I see that's why. Don't bite me. These are the same shoes that the wolf pup tried to destroy. Yes. He looks like he would smell like a wet dog. Can confirm, Stompy does not smell like a wet dog. Just a little sad, the hug option lost. You guys wanna do a five minute hug with Stompy now that he's soaking wet?
Stompy? Can you stand up? Time to get out of the pool, Stomp. Chick. I don't think he's interested in getting out of the pool. Stompy! Chicken! I have to give you a hug for five minutes. I don't have to, actually. I'm just doing it. Chicken? Chicken? Hello? Starting the timer. Five minutes is not that long. Okay, Stompy had a nice splash pad bath, and now Stompy gets a hug for five whole minutes. But I can still read chat, so if you guys have questions about Stompy, I can answer them. <laughs> Oh my god, oh my god, are you okay? What the heck was that? Oh my god, is there something in your mouth? Okay, you okay? Oh, maybe my earring, I don't know. How soft is this skin around my neck? Um around his neck. It's not really soft. I'm not even saying this because I call him a chicken. It kind of just feels like chicken skin. If he was in really deep water, would he float? Yeah, I think so. Second eyelid. Oh yeah, you guys can see that. Stompy, like a lot of other birds and reptiles, has a nictitating membrane. It's an eyelid that goes from the front to the back of his eye. Um, and birds and alligators and stuff have that. Georgie has it too. It's like a pair of swim goggles. So they can close it but kind of see through it, but it keeps debris from getting in his eyes. Like Georgie. Oh, wow. mm -hmm. Built-in goggles. Resubbed for nine months. Thank you for the nine months. What do you think? Give me a hug. That's nice. Please don't bite my necklace. Please don't bite my earrings. Stompy's favorite treat is splash bad. Probably. Where are Stompy's ears? Here. You see it? That's his ear. It's a hole. Does he know his name? No. I don't think so. Do all emus like water? Is it just Stompy? Is it normal for emus to like water? Um, I think that it's normal for them to like water, but I think Stompy likes it a lot. Like, more than a normal emu. Does he get vet checkups? Do they have emu vets? Yes. Um, <laughs> we have an exotic vet that comes out here uh, and does annual exams on all of our animals. Annual exam day is a big day. It's quite a time. I don't know how long they sleep for, but Stompy pretty much, I mean, Stompy's out through the night. Like, you can watch him on the live cams if you're really interested and you want to pull an all-nighter to see how long Stompy really sleeps, you go for it. You can watch him all night on the live cams. You can see when he falls asleep. It's really cute. Oh my gosh. He's on high alert. What is it? What's out there? Please don't bite. See, he's going for my necklace. I can tell. I can feel it. Are emus in the wild aggressive? Um, no, we try to avoid the, the word aggressive too, because it implies they're like 
out to get you. I think the vast, 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 vast majority of the time, if not all the time, if you run into an animal in the wild and it hurts you, uh, it's a defensive behavior. You know, like you're doing something or you're somewhere where you shouldn't be um, and they're just defending themselves, you know? Are they bulletproof? No. The most dangerous animal that we have here um, I don't know, it's probably the macaws, or the foxes, I guess. No, I'm sorry, it's, uh, it's my horse, probably. Yeah, it's my horse, because if you got kicked in the head by him or Winnie or the donkeys, um, you could die, for sure. Have you cared for kangaroos before? I have, yeah. I've never done wallabies, but I, I, have, I have kept kangaroos. By kept, I mean I've been a zookeeper for kangaroos. I have not had my own kangaroos. Hey, sleepy. That is five minutes. That was really fast. It's not so bad. Time's up, stomp. Your time's up. Quick five minutes. All right, you guys. Time to go to the next one. Goodbye, chicken. Goodbye, chicken. How long have you done this stuff? Um, I grew up on a farm, so I've been with animals my whole life. Uh, I started working at zoos in college, um, and went to college in 2016, 2017. Um, so I don't know that long. But Alveus was founded in 2021, so we're relatively new. Would you ever get tortoises? Yeah, we want to get tortoises. Uh, or maybe just like one. But yes, tortoises is, is on our list for sure. Stompy body pillow covers so chat can get hugs. <laughs> yeah, that's really cute actually. Stompy September. <laughs> I gotta get moving on this. Prototypes. All right, back up. Water, peach, and then the next pole. I think the next one's beetle. Hi, Siren. up for 12 months by one year ellie thank you for the thank you for the year thank you so much when's the next art auction art auction is on earth day so this past year it was april 21st i think it's on april 21st every year right or do i have that date wrong it'll be in april on earth day Must be nice to not be drenched in sweat. Wow. Who are you talking to? Hi, B. Hi, B. -wee. Hello. Hi. Oh, you have a snake. Guys, it's been a while since you've seen Noodle. They're checking her for mites right now. We found a couple. She's being really good. If you want to come over, you, you can. She's on the right, where she turned her head. She's being real good. Wow. Valentivi subbed for the first time. Oh, she's pulling away a little bit. Hi, ma'am. I'm putting too much right under your chin. We've pulled several off. Is it is it okay? Is it too much now? We're gonna soak her. Sorry, lady. The water's ready for her whenever we need to go. Alright. Hey. Hello. I need to pee. There you go. Yeah, noodles a carpet python. Um we've had a whole thing with mites. It's been really 
Oh, good. What do you think? Uh, still shaking it. I'll be back. I need to Have fun. Did you take? Oh, there's the mic. Mm-hmm. Chat. I need. I, I need ideas for subathon, wheel stuff. What do you got? Mostly punishments from Maya. Anything? S fan stream and Dorito. Oh yeah, I was watching uh, S fan, the better streamer. Eat something spicy. Who's this guy? Dinosaur dress up. TikTok dance punishment. That'd be good. Okay. Wear a cow costume. Okay. Hot chip challenge. She would die. That's a great idea. Let's do it. It's my favorite animal. Flip. Flip's is my favorite animal. <laughs> Why do you zoom in on me over here? You didn't want to be on stream? Mm -hmm. You should talk to them. They love you. This protein tastes like a slightly milky Gatorade, and it's not bad. Sleep with goats? We're never sleeping with goats again. Dunk tank with Stompy. Fun. Foot race Stompy. If she loses, she get water balloon in the face. Okay, yeah. Did you fix the feeder? That's on my list for today. Um, this is Maya's protein. It's tasty. Not sponsored. 22 grams per scoop. It's a fat scoop, though. 22 grams protein. NPC stream? Make Maya do that? Oh, that's a great idea, actually. We should do that. Uh, sleep with Stompy? We'd lose an eye. How about, Connor, if we get 5K on the subathon and you sleep with goats? I'm never sleeping with the goats again. It's never happening. Hello. Who was that? Should I do that? Um, Can't do laundry. No. Yeah. Do you need a laundry? Probably. Right. Hi, chat. Hello. This is not a chuggable protein. It's a sipping protein. It's a milky blue paper. Is any protein chuggable? Yeah. I've never, that's disgusting. I've never chugged protein. This one's really smooth though. It dissolves well. Good. I don't know how I feel about it. I drank it once and I was like kind of stoked about it, but then I just have not wanted to drink it again, so I don't know what that means. It means you don't want to get swollen. I guess. You guys ready to do beetle? Give beetle a treat. Goat treat, horse treat, frozen watermelon treat. We already gave her a horse treat. YouTube video tomorrow. It's getting posted tomorrow. I did a Q&A actually with Stompy in the splash pad. So it'll, if you like that, you'll like that YouTube video. It's tomorrow. Okay, this is pretty overwhelming. This is not close at all. Frozen watermelon treat, 80%. Amazing. Amazing, amazing. There is a rock in there for her too. So Hi, Needle. Stompy the uh, rainbow splash pad. Sick. Rainbow splash pad. And the Stompy pool ramp. And the what? The pool ramp. Oh, the pool ramp. Nice. So we can set up Stompy's pool again. And fruit snacks. And fruit snacks. Wow. Giving Ace Popsicles is so how I found the YouTube channel. Oh, cool. Months. 
Alpheus, hey. Hey, thank you. Um, okay, you guys, frozen watermelon has won. We're going to give Beetle a frozen watermelon treat, and then we're going to come in here and take a little lunch, a little lunch break, if you, if you will, if you don't mind. All right. Hi, wow. chickens. Bay is just gifted three tier one subs. Thank you. Bayless, thank you. Why not just use the slip inside as a ramp? I don't think it would work very well, and it's slippery. Did you dye your hair? Yes. I did. People pug, wow. Big boy Bulvins resubbed for seven months. Big boy Blevins. Oh, wow. Clabit gifted a tier one sub to Rise. Corbid. They have given 101 so gift sorry. subs in the channel. She's just taking it out. I'm so sorry, man. All right, guys, let's, let's do it. Let's give be dull a treat. It might be several goats, OK? Because you know how goats work. P.O. Box when? Uh, September 5th. I think. Yeah. I think September 5th. Yeah. I think September 5th. It's first Tuesday of September. All right. It's a spray bottle for flip when he's not working hard enough. I don't think he heard that. All right. Frozen watermelon, huh? Yep, they were not lying. There's a stuck frozen watermelon. It's cringing me out. These are one of the marmoset options today, by the way. It's uh, frozen bears. There's corn in them, and they're really cold. And I thought the marmosets might like them. It's just one of their options today. You guys pick, because it's chat picks. All right, here's our frozen watermelon slices. We're just gonna grab one, and then go out and give it to Beetle and see what happens. I should put these in the freezer. I'm just going to take this one. Stand by. I don't know. Oh, it's really frozen. I don't know what she's going to do with it. Where is she? I want only her to come. Is that her under there? Or is that Kylie? Beetle! Beetle! Wow. Stores six just gifted oh, five so tier one subs. Stores, thank you for the five. This is my recall for my goat. Beetle! Beetle, 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 beetle! Come on! Beetle, 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 beetle. I have something for you. Frozen watermelon. Uh oh. Chat. I don't think she wants it. She hates it. Why? Almost everything. I know it's weird. People pop. Wow. Lock legs for Kylie, months. she, there's no way Kylie eats this. Do you want this? Would be shocked. Frozen watermelon. Are you guys absolutely no fun? Who are you guys? I don't know. Why don't Pee -wee? Pee Wee would probably try it. Come get it, Pee Wee. But then he's gonna get bullied for no reason. Because no one else wants it. Yeah. Pee Wee, it's your turn. Trooper, it's your turn. Kylie, you better be nice. Beetle, Beetle you too. Beetle. Pee Wee, come here. Not you. Beetle. Or you can come to Beetle. Pee wee. Beetle. You can give this a go. Okay, or don't. No. Here you go. I know it's scary. No. Go. Be nice. Be nice. <laughs> I have a. P 
Pee wee. Oh my god, there's drama. Pee wee, do you want to try? It's frozen watermelon. You don't need to be rude, you know. Other goats can enjoy what you do not want. Be nice to Cameron. This is a lot. I think this is too much for you. It is so No. <laughs> what do you guys think? It's not beetle, but what do you think? Having a good time. People pub, wow. Max checks for sub for 38 months. Ito. <laughs> he looks nice. He's made really good progress, guys. We should do a video, a YouTube video that's just Pee Wee ASMR. Pee Wee eating ASMR. He's surprisingly bad at it. Excuse you, this is rock solid. What do you, and he doesn't. <gasps> he only has teeth on the bottom row. What do you expect from him? Beetle, that's not gonna fare well for you in, in terms of public perception, okay? They're gonna start not liking you. And you don't want that. How could you? All right, you guys. Classic beetle goat. Very cool. <laughs> Very cool of you. Love it. Pee Wee, I'm gonna leave this and you can continue to eat it if you would like. I'm going to leave it right here. There you go. Tripper, you wanna try? I don't think you tried it. Look, watermelon. Beetle's coming. Okay, I'm leaving it there. Hey, little dope. I'm starting to like oatmeal more. I uh, can't relate. Oatmeal, there's some watermelon over there if you want to give it a go. Huh. Wow, look guys, there's chickens in here. Chickens! Oliver, do you have anything that you would like to say to them? Why are they in here? Because it's too hot outside. And it's not hot in here. Okay. All right, you guys. Flip. I'd like to have you stand there or put the tripod there. It's the dream. Um. Do da, do da. Ba, 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 all the dude all day. Guys. Um, the fun thing about this is I don't usually take a lunch break on Fridays. Like I, I try really hard to eat in the morning on Friday, but then I don't eat again until like five o'clock because I'm streaming all day. Um, and today, 
we get to take a lunch break <laughs> um, because we have a Domino's bounty today. So they gave us, they gave us a, a gift card, essentially, to get um, Domino, Domino's new pepperoni stuffed cheesy bread. So that's our lunch break today. I'm really, really excited about it. So I'm going to sit here and I'm going to review this cheesy bread Space picked up this morning. Um, there's a song. We encourage you to play the new pepperoni stuffed cheesy bread song on stream while trying the product. OK, yes, please. <laughs> Is that what they did? How do I know which is which? Okay, that was excellent. Respect. Uh, for providing that as an asset for this bounty. Space, do you know which one is which? Do you know which one is the pepperoni one? Is it easy to tell? This one has a single pepperoni on it. Is that the vibe? Okay. <laughs> is that the indicator? Yes. Okay, these. Don't mind that. It has nothing to do with Domino's cheesy bread. It's just a... It's just a chicken having drama over some produce. Um, okay, this is uh, this is the new pepperoni stuffed cheesy bread. Um, this is my lunch for today. Oh my god! No kidding. There really is pepperoni in, inside of there. It is not often that I eat pepperoni. I'm always eating cheese pizza from Domino's. I don't really think about that, but can we hear the song again? You want it? You really kitty? Do you love this song too? multiple times in my life. <laughs> One time I, okay, all right. I'm gonna say the second part, but thank you. Um, cool. It's really good. I'm excited about it. Oh. He likes it too. Wow, that was amazing. Guys, this is cheesy and delicious, 10 out of 10. I'm a big fan. Also, we're doing this on my channel and I'll today, so I do this twice. <laughs> but I feel fine about it because it's actually really good. And I'm just eating. I'm pretty sick. It indicates what it is with one single pepperoni. Okay. Oh my god. I'm just getting a little piece. Mm hmm. Yay! Also, and ironically, at Alvaro's, we pretty much only get Domino's pizza. We do it for volunteers like every week. But I would buy this again. For volunteers. Okay, cutie. <laughs> no marinara sauce? It doesn't need it. It does come with it. It does come with it, but I don't want it. All right. 
Ryan. Duo, thank you so much. She thinks I'm joking. I don't think you're joking. I believe you. It says to feel free to add anything else to your order. And Space got some other things. Connor, what were you eating earlier? Spinach and feta. There's a spinach and feta stuffed cheesy bread as well. Maybe it'll go with the song. Bless you. What do you think? Excellent bounty. Excellent lunch break. <laughs> they're just really, they're really excited about Domino's stuffed cheesy bread. Spinach and feta traditional and bacon jalapeno and pepperoni. Fine. Just so you know. Thank you, Domino's, for this bounty and for making it so that I take a lunch break on a Friday. That's huge for me. Are you guys freaking? I appreciate all of your time. I appreciate that you didn't leave. And doing this bounty. That's all. Are you guys serious? That's crazy. Okay, well. That's a pretty good song. That was all. Thank you, guys. Um, we, can get, we can get back to business. Back to business. I did not thoroughly read that bounty <laughs> because I didn't realize that it was pepperoni until I was literally about to eat it, and I was like, oh, <laughs> I don't eat. <laughs> like, I don't eat pepperoni. Um, it tastes good. It's not like it's not good. It definitely tastes good. Um, but you guys know how I am with like traceable meats. Like when I get Domino's, I'm always eating cheese pizza. So I was like, oh, it's cheesy bread, easy peasy. And I was like, oh, it's pepperoni. Prof prophetic, prophetic, thank you for the 20 gifted subs. That being said, they do have other ones. Um, so I would have just eaten the spinach and feta one, but that one was specifically for the pepperoni one. So. Apologies on the inconsistency there. It was accidental. Canceled. somewhere else. Okay, don't scream at that. Let's go make the 
them way worse. <laughs> Can I have him? Come here, buddy. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Are you okay? We have the rats next. You want to run the rat pool? All right, guys. Sorry about that. Rats are next. Um, we have two rats, Chips, Chips Ahoy and Nilla Wafer. Do you want to give them frozen watermelon, a Cheerio surprise, or a new fort? Man, I was really hoping you wouldn't say that, but I guess I should have guessed that you were going to say that. I don't actually know how to do that. At the moment, we're going to have to make it. Ooh, watch your step. You just missed it. It was incredible, honestly. I thought I thought you were in there. Yeah. Thank you for the 21 months. Use the paper tunnel. The paper tunnel um, is an option for the foxes today because the chins and rats have run through it. So for the foxes, the paper tunnel would be smell enrichment and like enrich normal enrichment. All right, all right, what are we looking at, folks? What are we thinking? It's pretty clear what we're thinking. Most people want to give the rats a new fort, which means we have to make a new fort, which, uh, We uh, totally can do, for sure. All right, new fort. Let's go see what we have in the nut house. All right, okay guys. Oh, so nice. He's so nice. He's so cute. The best friend. This is the beetle. Yippee, 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 beetle. She doesn't like frozen watermelon. What? Mm mm. All right, let's see. Okay, new fort for the rats. Here's our rat cage. So it's got to fit in here, number one. We can move some stuff around now. Uh, where are they? They have lots of forts already. Hello? Hello? Anybody home? Chips? 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 Nilla? Where are they? Little rats? Little rats? Hello? Okay, well, oh, I see a chips. <laughs> Thank you for kindly, finally coming over. Hi. My hands maybe smell funny. Do you want a new fort? Can I pet you? He's so nice. Guys, this is Chips Ahoy. 
She was going to be a feeder rat for snakes. Now she lives here and teaches people about rodenticide use and why it's bad for wildlife and rats. And she's very cute and she's going to get a new fort. I need an exacto blade for sure. Okay. All right. All right. So, we have chat this is an experiment and you're in for the ride, okay? You are on the ride with me. Let's do purple one. First, we're going to make a box. We're going to construct this box and use it as the base of our fort. I don't have a plan at the moment. If you have a better idea, feel free to tell me. That's cheating? I'm sorry, what? How is this cheating? Okay. Here's the base. We have a bunch of other boxes from PO. Here, green. Blue, put blue. I'm thinking, I'm thinking that if I cut this off and I cut a hole here, I can like stick it in like that. You know what I mean? I miss old Maya. <laughs> Oh, you sentimental, sweet, sweet old friend of mine. <laughs> I appreciate the sentiment. You don't know old Maya or new Maya. Actually, do you guys get my vision? You know what I mean? And then just like. You know? No? I'm making like a castle fort. Flip, do you get it? Yeah. He's lying. He's lying because I pay him. He doesn't want to make me mad. I haven't gotten there yet. See, look. Oh God. It don't fit, stand by. Okay, look, stand by. Seriously, it's tragic. Are you seeing the vision chat? It's like a castle. Are you getting it? Are you seeing it? Shit. It's not big enough. No, 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 no! 
tragedy. <laughs> this exacto blade is not very sharp, but. good now. <laughs> what do you think? Break off the blade and put the next one up. I didn't know that's why it was like that. anything. What? Can I not? Do you want to do it? No. Okay, then don't be a hater. Stop making noises and tell me what to do if you're worried. Just not do it. Just struggle a little. I don't get it. I don't get it. supposed to do? I don't get it. <laughs> I'm not going to use my teeth. I'm not going to do that. All right, well, I give up. It was a good try. It was a good try, everybody. Looks like a steamboat. Okay, I'll take it. It's fine with me. need the top of the castle. It has to be a peak, okay? So obviously I know how to do that. So that's, that's what I'm gonna do now. Oh my God, I'm a genius. I mean, I'm a genius. And then call Jimmy Steamboat Billy. Hi. This is a stapleless stapler. It did too. There's just two flaps. You gotta stop being such a hater. It's bad for you. What do you guys think? Cute, right? Hat. It needs a door? Shit.
door. Here's the entry. What do you think? Now the boat's gonna sink. Why? Oh, it's not a boat. It's a fort. Chat, there it is. That's what we're working with today. Oh my god. 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 Look. Are you even, do you have the song? do TikToks anymore. Uh, chat. Oh my god, you actually are really dumb for that. Connor, that was really stupid. Connor, stop. Connor, that's really, really not smart. Just stop, I'll I take it, it out. <laughs> <laughs> um, We're out of gaff tape, but I put it on the wish list. Exclamation point WL. Guys, for the record, this is what Connor was, this is what, I sent him this TikTok and I was like, this is a good idea for the animals. And that's what he decided to do. Stand by, let me find it. wow. Just underscore some underscore donkus resubbed for four months. Peanut butter. Peanut butter. Peanut butter. Just, just not what I expected, but. Can I have a raise now? No, I didn't stick my tongue out. <laughs> Can't wait to see that. Dude, my armpits are so sweaty. I, I can tell. Gross. Wasn't that gross? <laughs> All right. Um, rats, <laughs> I have a new fort for you. I'm going to take this one out for viewing purposes. Is there a rat in here? No. For you. Chips. Look. It's maybe it's a maybe it's a little small. Look. You see? New fort. You can be honest about what you think. In my head, they're smaller. <laughs> Can you go in the fort? You fit inside the fort. Do you want to try? Look, what's in there? So fun. Don't escape. No, 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 no. Okay. Well, <laughs> what? Chips, where are you going? All right, guys, time to play get chips back in the cage. <laughs> um, for the record, the rats get to go outside um, every day, or they get let out every day in the nut house. That's why she was like, ooh, door's open, time to go play. They already got let out this morning though, so it's kind of cringe that she did that again. Chips, I request that you come back inside. Where is she? Is she in here? 
Chips. Chips. Chips, come here. Chips, come here. Incredible work. See, our rats are trained. Crate training is important. Okay. Thank you. Here you go, you want another one? Because you came out. Thank you, very nice. Crate training is important because that way we don't have to like restrain an animal against their will and like grab her to pick her up because that's traumatic. I can attest. All right. Next up, we have. Marmoset's fox is Winnie. Um, I think the first one we do is Marmosets. Let's do the Marmosets first. Um, we'll run that poll right now. You guys can decide what you want the Marmosets to get today. Marmosets are the little monkeys. Marms first, Marms first. Bad news. It didn't work? Angles, you're too close. I <laughs> held you too close. I gotta, we gotta redo it. What do you mean? <laughs> Just put it on, film it on 0.5. I mean, have to, so I, the trend is you have it front facing. Yeah. But I am gonna have to do 0.5 rear facing and actually stage it a little bit more. Well, we were still changing for the better. Well, I did wasn't up. Me, I wasn't up. Space, I'm gonna switch to here, yeah? Okay. Ah! Sad. I'm good whenever you're ready. I cried a little bit. My hair. Yeah, it was. I could have done it. I don't know why you were like panicking and trying to do it so fast. I don't know why. I didn't think tape would not hurt. Okay. Well, guys, um, you can run the marmoset bound or the not bounty. You can run the marmoset. Um, Poll right now. Oh my god, flip leaked. Guys, <laughs> while we uh, while we run the marmoset poll, um, Connor's gonna close his Discord and I'm going to uh, do a quick shopping bounty. Here we are again. Wow, look at us go. What a day. Guys, this is uh, Glossier which I was really excited about because I really like Glossier. It's a makeup brand. Not right now. <laughs> Introducing Glossier Stretch 32 shades of skin, skin enhancing stretch fluid foundation and stretch balm concealer made for real life. We all live real life. Glossier's mission is to provide the best skin enhancing formulas for natural looking skin for a range of skin tones and types so that you can find a level of coverage you need to embrace your skin first. Whether that's sheer coverage with a dewy finish or light to buildable coverage with a natural finish. Do you guys know what that means, yes or no? No. Stretch fluid foundation, buildable, light to medium coverage and a natural finish. An 89% skincare based gel cream foundation that leaves skin 
looking moisturized with a natural to you finish guaranteed. So it looks as good outside as it does in your bathroom mirror. Cool. Cool, cool. All right, let's check it out, shall we? Shall we, shall we, shall we? Back. Mirrors don't change it for the better. Oh. Look at this! I'm taking you guys over here. Look at this! Glossier introducing the Stretch Collection. Wicked. Glossier Stretch. Fluid Foundation Stretch Balm Concealer in 32 flexible shades. Skin first. Hydrating. Natural to you. Finish. Seven shade families, five undertone groups for seamless, buildable, light to medium coverage that stretches any skin tone. Always color true. Our campaign features across features 64 faces across all 32 shades. Pretty impressive. Photographed outside and unretouched. Damn. That's super brave. Good for them. It's kind of sick, actually, that they did that. Um, nice. Plant-derived squa squa squalene and glycerin help support and nourish the skin's moisture barrier. Cool, 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 cool. Nice little, little pot. So cute. So cute. Boomer cursor? I'm sorry. What on earth should I be doing with my cursor? Is it big? Don't make me self-conscious about my cursor. I've never even thought about that in my life. I just got one guide? Okay. Um... Blend and diffuse. Guys, when it says buildable, I keep saying words that I know you probably don't understand in this context. Buildable is like if you have a paint that's not completely opaque, like it's kind of sheer, you can put more on top and it doesn't take off the, the stuff from underneath. It's like you can build on top of it and it still looks good if you want it to be like heavier or like more opaque. You know what I mean? That's what that means. And like a dewy finish is like what my skin always looks like because I'm wearing sunscreen and I'm sweaty. It looks nice and natural and glowy. A matte finish is like I've never seen my face that way. You, f you get me? This is sick. I want one of those. Wow! Matching. Very light one, very light two, very light three. Expert shade matching is available now. Email one of our experts will find you your stretch shade. That's a lot of pressure. You can also try matching with an existing foundation shade by searching the foundation tool. Neato. What's the tooth thing? Looks like a tooth gem. Looks like a tooth gem to me. Well, um... Uh, so there is a stretch shade finder. Use Glossier stretch shade finder in three steps. There are product pages, individual product pages for both stretch fluid foundation, and stretch balm concealer. That's what we we're looking at right here. Um, and new customers get 10% off their first order. Terms and conditions apply. Very nice. Very nice. Their mission, Glossier's mission, is to provide the best skin enhancing formulas for natural looking skin for a range of skin tones and types so that you can find the level of coverage you need to embrace your skin first. Whether that's sheer coverage with a dewy finish or light to buildable coverage with a natural finish. Wicked. It's going so fast. This is going so fast because they took pictures of 64 different people with 64 different skin tones uh, outside and did not retouch the photos to show you how good it is. That's, that's what they were doing there. That's why it looks like that. <laughs> they have skincare, they have cleansers, balms, treatments, sunscreen, moisturizers, stretch fluid foundation, stretch balm, concealer, stretch face brush, Face, brow, eye, cheek, lips, tools, makeup removers, fragrances, sets. Wow, amazing. Hello. 
Oh, you can't see him. Oh, you can see him. Big. This ad a part of the stream. It is a bounty. It's a bounty. You know how it goes. You know how it is. Is the marmoset poll finished? What did they vote? Um, what? Frozen bear toys. Frozen bear toys. Huh? 59%. 59% frozen bear toys for the marmosets. So um, right after this, we are going to go out to the marmosets and give them frozen bear toys. Are you ready? Are you excited for that? Um, I have another minute, but yeah. We are going to raid in and do that. Update Chrome. No. No. People bug. Love Haley, 20 subbed for the first time. Love Haley, thank you for the sub, dude man. Dude man, 8,541 resubbed for 10 months. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, thank you so much. I know most guys just use one type of soap, but it pays off using a specialized face soap cream moisturizer. Yeah, you don't need to have, like, a... You don't need to have a, a whole skincare routine. But, like, don't just use a bar of soap on your face and everywhere else. Think about it. You can think about it. Okay? Cool. Alright, guys. Um, that is it. Glossier, thank you for the bounty. Big time. Okay. So, you guys. Um... We are doing, I appreciate it, again. I know it was two in a day, it's crazy. Um, we are going to go give the marmosets frozen bears because that's what you decided. I am telling you right now, they're going to pee on them. And so if that's gonna hurt your feelings, maybe you shouldn't watch. <laughs> but they are, they are gonna pee on the bears probably, but we'll see. Stream is not ending, no it's not, but we are raiding into Alveas. You can start it now if you want. Um, the stream is only halfway done. We still have chicken poop is so gross. Really is awful. Um, the stream is only halfway done, so just don't go anywhere. Good first half. Hooray! Flip, they said hi. That was Flip. He got scared. <laughs> I only wish they'll change for the better. Why can't they now? Why don't they now? Free hugs to anyone who stays for the raid. <laughs> Not for me. Maybe for Mick, if you want him. Um, okay, and then set this, this, excellent. All right, is it working? Are we rated in? Cool, yeah. Okay. Um. Easy peasy. Hey guys. I'm looking at the Alveas chat now. Back when we were still changing for the better. I don't know why I have I put that headset on. It's just like a um reflex to do that, but I don't Oh, because the mic, that's why. Yeah. It's like, it's like, why did I put this on? That's why. Because I need the mic. Huh? Um, stay here, actually. Uh, because, hey guys, it feels wrong watching Alveus in the non-Alveus tab. What does that mean? What do you mean by that? 
Um, everybody, welcome to the to the second half of the stream. <laughs> They took the pepperoni Woo, and stuffed it in the cheesy bread. Guys, they took the pepperoni. You're not gonna believe this. They stuffed it in the cheesy bread. But they took we the have pepperoni. a Domino's bounty today. They stuffed it in the cheesy bread. So on this Friday, I do not have inside a cheesy bread. Just one. I have two lunch breaks. Flip can even get have a lunch break. Do you want some? Okay. Guys, um, today we have a bounty with Domino's on the Alveus channel um, for their stuffed cheesy bread. Okay? They have lots of different stuffed cheesy breads. The new one is the pepperoni. They also have I think this is also, this is, they also have spinach and feta and um, traditional and bacon and jalapeno. They put pepperoni in the cheesy bread. Yeah, um, they do. It is cheesy and delicious. Look, we got so much Domino's today. Incredible. I did try the pepperoni one. It's good. This actually, this is the traditional one. This is just cheesy bread. Are you sure? Okay. Hooray! Can you play the song again? Yeah, man. Totally. Flip, do you like the song? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yum, 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 Stars! yum, yum, yum. They took the pepperoni, stuffed it in the cheesy bread. They took the pepperoni, stuffed it in the cheesy bread. Took the pepperoni, stuffed it in the cheesy bread. Yummy, tasty pepperoni, stuffed inside a cheesy bread. No, it's not me. Nate, thank you for the 10 gifted subs. Loop song, again? Mm. Um, okay, yeah, we gotta, we'll go again. Yum, 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 They took the pepperoni, yum, 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 stuffed it in the cheesy bread, yum, 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 yum. They took the order Domino's new cheesy bread. it in the cheesy bread. They took the pepperoni. Stuffed it in the cheesy bread. Yummy, tasty pepperoni. Stuffed inside a cheesy bread. classic you already know look here it is oh my gosh what we're talking about sick can you upload that audio clip no <laughs> what do they do with the pepperoni they stuffed it in a cheesy bread Where do we find that song? I don't know. I don't know. They gave it to me. I don't know. Okay, gatekeep, I guess. You guys. You're being unreasonable right now. Oh, five and tip one dollar. Hat. Hat. Where is it? 
42 gifted cheesy bread a subscription. Shana 42 gifted a tier 1 sub to cheesy Yay, bread. Yay, cheesy bread. They have given 102 gift subs in the channel. Are you the original Maya? No. Anyway, um, it's actually a cool bounty to have today because, uh, they gave us gift cards to get food. So all the staff gets cheesy bread today. Except Flip because he doesn't want any. But everybody else gets cheesy bread, which is very nice. Um, right after this, you guys, we are going to give the marmosets frozen bears. I'm excited to see what they do with them, or if they care at all. Or if they just, they might just pee on them and then leave. I don't know. Nice, you found the song. Well done. Well done. Why are the bears frozen? Because uh, it's hot outside and there's corn in them. Sly, thank you so much for the five gifted subs. I said earlier on my stream, but thank you. Unironically, uh, Domino's is the only pizza we order at Alves uh, for, you know, it's, it's good. We get it for volunteers pretty much every week. Anonymous, thank you for gifting a sub. Thank you so much. They're actually good for the fast pizza. Yeah. Also in college, actually, even before all this, I think it was the only pizza that I ordered. They took the pepperoni. Stuffed it in the cheesy bread. They took the pepperoni. Clorvid. Gifted 75 subs? Corbid? Sit in the cheesy bread. They took the pepperoni. Stuffed it in the cheesy bread. Yummy, tasty, thank you. Stuffed inside a cheesy bread. Alright. It's fire. Yep. 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 All right, um, you guys, we're gonna gear up uh, to go see the marmosets now. Um, Domino's, thank you for uh, thank you for the bounty. Good stuff, and thank you guys for watching it. Kayla sent me this. Yeah. Pee Wee would scream. Yeah, she texted me this yesterday. He hates it. Alright. That's what you should sit down with. Okay. <laughs> nice, buddy. Good morning. What do you do, sir? Uh. <laughs> Rorica just resubscribed for 11 months. Rorica. Can we get to be Eagle? Thank you. Um, Space, can you guest star me in if you haven't already? Nightlet. <laughs> And you can. Oh, I have to pee again. It's kind of crazy. You can switch to the backpack too, whenever. Why don't you ever have to pee? Um, chat, I have to be. <laughs> I'm leaving you with Flip. He's babysitting. Be nice to them. Hello, chat. Be me be nice? Yeah. I'm never not nice. Hello, chat. What did you tell her? <laughs> so now she's saying to be nice. Where's the mic at? Over here? Oliver? Hello, everybody. Quiet. How is it? I'm dropping you off at Chick-fil-A. Any questions today?
Connor says he wants to do the TikTok that he did with Maya, but with me, should I do it? Yes. Who am I? I take... <laughs> I record videos for Maya. Yes? I'm going to regret saying it. Uh, Connor, chat says yes. So you have permission to record that TikTok with me. He's going to do it when I least expect it, so good luck to see that on TikTok at some point. Then. Have fun. Did I buy it? Did I put the... What are you talking about? Cheesy bread? I didn't eat any. I can't eat right now. It's too hot out there. It would feel uncomfortable trying to like walk around in that heat after eating like bread and cheese. Although, I can confirm it does taste great. It tastes really good. I had it before. Why is there a rooster in the background? <laughs> he just likes it in here. It's nice and cool. It's not hot out. Sometimes he deserves, you know, studio time too. Noodle. <laughs> Why don't I ever use the bathroom? Because I'm not weak. Okay. We're only here for like two hours. Can I stick my tongue out for the TikTok video? I will do so. What? What's my favorite? What? What are you saying? Tongue out. Here you go. Are they tricking you into doing stuff? All right, you guys. Let's go get some frozen bears, shall we? <laughs> Shout out to anyone in the chat right now. Even lurkers. If you're here, you're real. We all have our strengths, and strength is not one of mine. And sometimes you have to accept that. I just meant you <laughs> take bathroom breaks every five minutes. Okay, well that doesn't have to do with how strong you're physically I physically relatively strong, to be honest. For really? How small you are, yeah. You're really strong for oh your God. size. Oh my God, I'll take that. That's crazy because I disagree. So you think you're weak for your size? I guess I never really think about it as like a for my size thing. I'm just weak. That's like saying an ant is weak. It's fair. Ants are exceptionally strong. We're going to give the marmosets frozen bears now. She is weak. Yeah, and you can't respond to text messages. <laughs> Caleb. All right. He's a dumb dumb. All right. Non-fake people. How you doing, Kayla? A plus. A plus. Chat. Chat. Kayla, that's how you are. They said good. <laughs> All right, folks. Here we go. Excuse me. No, you're not in my way. It's time. I don't think these are going to stay cold for very long. Frozen bears. <laughs> it's like I'm kind of busy right now. Kind of holding something right now. I, I read the situation sometimes. <laughs> okay, that's huge. All right, you guys. Um, so today on, oh, these are actually really nice. Today on Chat Play Zookeeper, uh, you guys have decided to gift the marmosets these frozen bears. We got these in the P.O. box. They are filled with corn kernels. Um, and you can freeze them or put them in the microwave, I guess. So they can be like cool bears or warm bears. We froze them. And so we're gonna see what the marmosets think. Admittedly, this does not feel like carrying an ice pack at all. I think it's like baby safe. Like I think they're for babies. You can't give a baby's pack; it'll like kill itself somehow, right? So they're not that cold, so they might not really care. I don't know. We'll see. We're gonna find out. 
That gamer guy, thank you for the prime. Okay, let's see. Hi. Hi, boys. Chad has a gift for you. Thanks. Just subscribed. Haas, thank you for the sub. Boys, boys, boys. Hi, what are you doing? I have these for you. Momo Simpson just subscribed. I'm sitting the frozen bears here. You wanna come get them? Oh my god. <laughs> for you! Big jump. What is that? Appa? Momo? What are those? He just wants my phone. <gasps> oh. They're your size. Momo's kind of wary. <laughs> what do you think? Usually when we give them new things, it's an enrichment item and there's food in it. So I think he's a little disappointed that there's not, buddy. You gotta, th we're just giving you frozen bears. You don't need to come over here. I have nothing. I swear. Only a phone. Mom, Abba. He's going in my pocket. He's a ten show name. All right. Oh, Momo's checking it out. I was just about to say they don't care at all. Does he care? I, I can't really tell at the moment. Peach. Peach. One down. One bear down and peed on. Sir, I have nothing. This is a mask. You know what COVID is? That's all that's in there, I swear. The sun in your eyes. Chat, I think this is like a 3 out of 10, if I'm being honest. Okay, make that 2. They just want food. Appa? Oh, oh! Careful! You wanna see chat? Look. There they are. Say hi. They're saying hi. Light mode only because we can't see dark mode outside out here. It's too bright. It's <laughs> Momo, you want to see chat? 
Ну, тише. Ну, это что? I like when he sticks his head out and then he looks mad because it scrunches up his see that's what I mean with the with the facial structures what I was talking about earlier it doesn't look like he's pissed off right now but really that's just how his face is because of the door what's going on what's going on in there they have AC in that room you're letting it out just so you know These are still cool, but they're not, they don't feel frozen at all. All right, well, I'm really sorry for not bringing you snacks and only bringing you a brand new toy that we froze for your pleasure, but hey, can't win them all. I will leave them here regardless. Okay, he doesn't want to sit. Goodbye, boys. Enjoy. All right. Um, next up we have... Uh, do you want to do Winnie or the Foxes, guys? Thank you, thank you. Winnie or the Foxes? Winnie or the Foxes? Winnie or the Foxes? What do you think? What do you think? Thanks, Mick. Yeah, if you wouldn't mind watching them, actually, I was just thinking about that, because it's the first time they've had that. I don't think they're going to rip them open, but I would appreciate you keeping an eye on them. Winnie. I'm seeing a lot of Winnie. All right, let's do the Winnie poll. Winnie has uh, three options here. We have Squitchy Time. Squitchy is the name of the brush in the pasture, the yellow one. Winnie loves scratching on it, but doesn't really do it on her own or like doesn't think about it or know how or something I don't know so it would be like me bringing her over to it and like trying to help her use it and scratch on it option two was brush because Winnie loves being brushed and option three is a sponge bath I did note on there she won't like it probably but I think that she would be okay with me taking like a cloth with water and rubbing it on her might help her feel cooler, I don't know. Those are the three options. I saw that Serrano used it. Kayla's still looking for mites. Finding mites, hmm. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. All right, Squitchy Time is in the lead by a long shot. Cool. Which means we need to go down there, get some grain, somehow only get the baby cow and not the horse and the donkeys and the emu. Well, how are you in the jacket? It's cold out there. This is tattoo. Get you a sun shirt. Mm -hmm. Get you a sun shirt. Mm -hmm. Sun shirts are great. Yeah, we can just let a Sarah out if he's going to be a problem. Gates open right now. Never mind. Right. My next. Oh, All right, folks. Squitchy time. Are those anti-bird spikes? They are bird spikes, but they are not for birds. They are for the hood of our staff's cars. So the goats don't jump on them. Don't be concerned. It's just so the goats don't jump on everyone's cars. 
Okay. Let's go see the baby cow. Hmm? Are you going to be a baby cow forever? Yeah. Duh. Duh? Duh. Oh, nice and duh. Baby cow. I'm going to do that because it's way harder the next time. It's crazy. What? What are you talking about? Hi, Noodle. Are there a bunch? There aren't a bunch. There's just there were quite a few up by her face, which is to be expected because that's mm -hmm. where they go when they soak her. Mm -hmm. but... mm. Poor snake. Mites are so annoying, you guys. That's why we had to move. I don't know if you guys have noticed. We had to move all of the insects into the nut house here. Like all of our insects are right here, right now. Um, because we have to actually treat the reptile room for mites and we can't treat for mites with our ambassador insects in there because it'll kill the ambassador insects. B! Do you want this now? It's not frozen. Ew. Ew, it takes on a really weird texture when it unfreezes. For you. You are such a hater. It's so weird of you. Pee wee! There he is. You want this? Come here. Don't be cringe right now. Neither of you want this? What the heck, guys? Blush shampoo underscore just resubscribed for four months. Be jewel. Thank you. Blue shampoo. Thank you, thank you. Be dull. Okay. Kiwi only likes watermelon when it's frozen. I actually, I think you would like fresh watermelon too. That watermelon, when you freeze it and then it thaws out, is kind of yuck. And I think that's what they were reacting to. I think they were just like, yeah, this is yuck. <laughs> Pee Wee and Tripper are not siblings. No, they may have the same sire though. I bet they're half siblings. I bet they have the same dad, not the same mom. I brought a key. Where is she? Baby cow time. Papa is licking the bears. Interesting. I bet she's in here. I bet she's in here and I'm wrong. Dang. Let me fill this up too. Sorry, stand by. Guys, where's the baby cow? Time to play I Spy. So we're just subscribed. Heads up, this hose is gonna turn on. Behind you. Well, not. No splash pad, only hose. Under a tree. She's right there. Okay, let's get a little bit of grain without stirring up the rest of the pasture. If that's possible. Three 
subscribes for two months. Soybeans. Thank you. Just a little bit. Just a little. Oh man, she is in those trees. Just like in the center of everyone. That makes it not easy. Two underscore auspicious just subscribed. Two auspicious. Thank you for the sub. Oh no, she knows. She's a genius. When? Squitchy time. Hey. Hi, Stomp. Come here, Win. Hey, chicken. You can't. Fit your head in there. Okay, I'm hiding this now. She's distracted. I can't. Oh no, it's not working. I hit it. Now she's here with Squitchy. Guys, Squitchy was donated by Nate in chat, who may or may not be here. I saw him earlier in my channel. Um, it was expensive. It's made specifically for cows. Now we wait for Winnie to eat so that she can engage with Squitchy. She might not, she might just leave. Who knows? Can you ride a cow? Um, in theory, I do think she could support my weight, but her back's definitely not built for it and it wouldn't be good for her. Also, she'd probably hate it. Winnie, Squitch. Squitch, cause squitch. She's just only interested in food right now. Philadelphia Zoo has a squitchy, cool. It moves. Oh my gosh, it's hot on the top. There's a chicken. Hi, Stomp. Squitch. No, how did she know it was there? I didn't think she would know it was there. Okay, well, we're gonna be here a while. I'm actually really surprised that she I, did she see me do that? That was kind of crazy. I didn't know her sense of smell was that good, if that was just a smell thing. I think she just saw it. All right, well, excellent. It's gonna take forever. I'm sweating, this blows. What a dumb idea. Flip, I don't know how you do it. Just stand in the sun all the time. It's pretty bad. No, it doesn't. That's a blatant lie. He said it feels good out here. Okay. It feels good to get tased. Put food under the brush? I, yeah, I put like a little tiny bit. But she's not gonna leave that food, so. Now we have to wait. Oh, 
All right, baby cow. Can cows learn commands? Yeah, I think so. Winnie uh, has a recall to a cowbell. It's kind of cool. And she's halter trained. She looks so soft. She's pretty soft. She is pretty soft. Teach her how to sit. That sounds challenging. Pass. We do need to teach her to voluntarily pick up her feet. She's good about her front feet. Not so much on her back feet yet. Because we need to be able to file her hooves. Yum, dirt. Delicious. How long does it take until she's an adult cow? She she's an adult cow. She's she's almost a year and a half old. Thirteen um, BJ L thirteen she at one thousand bits. Hat. Thank you for the thousand bits hat. Do cows need hoof maintenance like horses do? Yeah, yeah. Not as often as horses, I don't think. Um, it's it's hard because most people don't have cows long enough to need to trim their hooves because they're usually for beef and dairy. Um, for beef anyway. You don't trim beef cow hooves because you ship them off. Squitchy. There's nothing else in here. Nothing else in here. That is all. Do you understand that it's empty? I don't know. Okay. Okay, great. I'm glad you understand. She doesn't really seem to understand. Squitchy. See, I put a little bit of grain under there. <laughs> Yay! Itch, squitch. Great, yeah, this was super worth it, guys. Thanks for coming to this segment of Chat Play Zookeeper. I don't want to stand in the sun anymore. It feels like, you know when you have a temporary tattoo on your arm? Okay, you know exactly what I'm talking about. It's crazy that I'm saying this. You know when you have a temporary tattoo on your arm and it's there for a long time and then it feels like your skin is like stretching? That's what my skin feels like just from the exposure to the sun. And I'm not, I'm not really vibing with it anymore. It feels like what Patrick looks like in that SpongeBob episode where he's wearing a black Speedo and a super tan. That's what it feels like. Clean pasture cam. You're in luck. Brought one of these guys today. <laughs> Baby cow! She knows this feeder is where food comes from, but it's broken and she doesn't understand that part. So she's like, why isn't anyone feeding me right now? She still have her spider co knife or did she lose it? This? I still have it. Stompy's drinking. When it's broken, I'm sorry. 
Also, I just gave you some food. Hello. Excuse me. Thank you. Here's Stompy. Don't, don't, okay, no, you're gonna, you're gonna, yeah. Do you understand what's happening right now? No. Check out this stompy print. It's like a really good one. I almost want to cast it. See those? Winnie, do you want some water? <coughs> Be thirsty? Look, water. I'm just doing ASMR, don't mind me. Anonymous gifted Jackis a subscription. An anonymous user gifted a tier one sub to Jackis. Thank you. Uh, are you itchy? You know what's great for that? Drinks like a toddler. Is that nice? Just thinking about it. Guys, this is a reminder to stay hydrated and to be wary of the emu. When he just burped. It's kind of cool. Stop you, please. No. Okay. Is everybody done here? No. Mollusks and Boo just subscribed. Thank you. Like dripping. Hey, 
underscore Rodimus just resubscribed for 12 months. Wait, why are you staring so blankly right now? <laughs> when? <laughs> Thank you, it's really nice. This is really nice. <laughs> All right, on that note, um, let's go see the foxes, I guess. We're on the fox bowl. Oh, when we were still changing for the better. Ouch. Antonius just so resubscribed for 12 months. Wet. She burped again. Drama. There's drama. All right, running the fox pole. Couple options for the foxes. Um, there is.
These are the goats. That is Beetle and Oatmeal and Kylie. Do they bite? No. They're very sweet. off and you have the towel that's not a towel we had an agreement Alex what agreement oh, fuck. Glasses I thought that was a towel that's not a towel Kayla can I call you back oh uh oh <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Ooh. Important, my own. Good morning. Once you like fill it like with enough. Uh, yeah. There you go, Beaver. That's still our land. Too far away. It's still our land. It it's is, a joke. It is. Yeah. Oh my yeah. yeah, it is. But my fence. Does anybody know where the goat grain is? Oh, their feet. Fuck me. Dude. It's like a horror movie. Oh my god. 
Oh my god. <laughs> no. I'm scared. Oh. Okay. Thank you. Swapping, swapping. Did you guys have fun watching clips? Was it a good time? So, was it an overheat or did something else happen? Um, I, it might have been the battery. Because mm. I had to swap the battery out. The battery, the battery overheated or died? The battery might be a mix of both. Oh, I think no. it was dying. Because the camera didn't give me a warning and it would warn me yeah. beforehand, so I don't think it was the camera. It wasn't outputting any power. Oh, shit. That's crazy. Alright. Well. You said it was still full, which is just not Thanks, outputting. Anna. Just resubscribed yeah. for five months. Thank you for the five months. Giant turd. Giant turd. Um. All right, guys. Oh, sorry. I do that. We all do that all the time. Um, Georgie's water looks so clear. I was just about to ask if there's actually water in there. Oh my god. Uh, did it die? It died during the fox pull, right? Yeah. Do you want to just run it again? Guys, let's run the fox pull again. This is, a, this is the last one we're doing today for chat play zookeeper, okay? The fox pull. What do you want to do with the foxes? Run it back. A lot of people are saying the tunnel. For the record, the tunnel, I don't think, I don't, do you think the foxes can fit in the tunnel? The paper one? Yeah. I'm sure they can. I don't yeah. know how it'll go. Okay. But I'm sure they may or may not crush. Yeah. I'm thinking they're going to crush it. It's okay. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. It'll be time. It'll be a time. They have, um, Rehydrated chicken. Uh, rehydrated chicken bits. If you want to cut a few of them into small pieces and put them in there, bring them out there for them. Smart. Uh, okay. There's a small bowl in there. How are you guys doing? Are you good? They're not screaming. Nugget, very. Oh, she laid an egg. Oh. Yay. That's why. It works. It works. Chat, right. you want to see a nugget egg? The chain. Fresh. Fresh nugget egg. Hooray! Put it in the tunnel. They got uh, whole eggs yesterday, so we will not do whole eggs today. But uh, the pull is up. It's the tunnel, right? Yes, yeah, so we're behind Okay. One more. How you feeling? I'm ready. You in it? Mm. Someone's upset. slobber on my face. All right. Let's go get the tunnel and go up to the foxes. Is the other side? Let's go get the tunnel and go up to the foxes. I am really excited. If the UTV is available, we're, we're taking it. Zoroth sixty six tipped five dollars. My mom is watching and says hi. Hi. Welcome to the stream. <laughs> That's Flip. Sorry, he's really upset about going outside. I 
I see the UTV, we're stealing it. It's a secret. Hello. Thank you. Would you guys mind if we stole the UTV to go up there? Okay. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do that. Oh. They can fit in there. It's a fox long and some change. Yoinkies, correct. Guys, we'll bring up some bits too so we can hang out. Thank you, thank you. All right, let's go see the foxes, everybody. Whoa. That is tiny, don't say that. This is exciting because one, we have chicken, and two, uh, we've put this out in the nut house a couple times, so the chinchillas have run through it and the rats have run through it. And so I'm interested to see how the foxes react to those smells. Don't fly out. without any snackies. I literally have chicken in this pouch right now. <laughs> Never gonna give you up. My mic is falling down. Never gonna run around. And... Dang it. Foxes! Hello! Hi, buddy. Finn! I have something for you. Read! That picture you posted of Fluffy Finn. Isn't that insane? <laughs> Did it get posted on what, Twitter? Oh. Oh, in the photo dump? Mm -hmm. Yeah, crazy. Guys, Finn looked really different when we first got him than he does now. Hey, buddy. What is this? Reed, you don't have to participate, but I would love it if you did. Finn, look at this. It's a tunnel. What does it smell like? something in there. He smells it. Smells it through the tunnel. Is he gonna fit in there? <laughs> so brave. Oh, he got it. Yum. More chicken? It's in there. <laughs> it's okay. Wow, 
Good job, buddy. That's very impressive. You're not scared of the tunnel, huh? Oh, boy. Hi, I put it in there. No. Did you get it yet? It's in there. It's in here. Did they get haircuts? No. This is just their summer coats. Oh, he did get it. Did I miss? Mm -hmm. It's in there. Whoa, it caught you. Summer versus winter fin. Yeah, that's what Flip was talking about. Absolutely crazy stuff. Read. Uh-oh. What is that bug? Finn, how about you go in here? Oh, you go get that. Read. You want this? You see that? He's sniffing, he's gonna find it. Good job, bud. Yum. Do you want more? I got nothing. It's for Reed. Can I touch? No. Rocky underscore Odie underscore just subscribed. Move. He's so brave. He's over there. Go. He's so brave. Good job. Rocky, thank you for the prime. Chicken juice. He doesn't have anything. Wait. Wait, do you want to sit? You sit? Good job. Oh, you dropped it. He's right there. Do you do a paw? Can you paw? Can you paw? Can I have it? He, I don't know how they cue that. I'm not gonna confuse him. Whoa, what happened? Hi, Finn. <laughs> Love chicken. Can you sit? Can you sit? Gotcha. Do you wanna go? In the t okay. There you go. It's in the tunnel. Good boy. He's so brave. So brave. Look out! They're still in there. Come in there. For 
the record, just because the foxes know how to sit does not mean they're dogs. I realize that it reads like your pet dog. Um, and so sitting's not my favorite behavior to do on stream for that reason, is I don't want it to make it look like they're manageable and like, oh, it's just like my dog. They're really not. Um, foxes are known for scent posting. Um, they mark everything. They will pee on this tunnel. They pee in every new thing that is brought into their enclosure. Um, what's that? Oh, that is this just a stick, but thank you for taking it from me. Um, they take things. They're, they're much more cautious than dogs are. Um, they're they're not a pet um they don't they don't do well in inside of houses they're also seed dispersers in the wild that's their job they eat i think they're eating chicken right now and so you might think like all oh, foxes eat squirrels and rabbits which is true uh, but they also eat berries and vegetation they're omnivores and so they'll run around the forest and poop on everything and seed disperse to help with forest regrowth and they'll do that in your house too um, people want foxes because they think they're a cooler version of a dog and then they get them in their house and they don't work out and then they're like, oh, imagine that, it's not like a dog and I can't have this anymore. And Finn was bred to be someone's pet, um, <laughs> a nice dick. Uh, he was bred for the pet trade and was a confiscation from the illegal pet trade in California. Um, someone did try to keep him in their house and that's not what's best for him, so. What do you think about the tunnel, you like it? I feel like he likes it. I know someone who had a fox at their place, but it was for a while. Yeah, it's uh, not right. You should not have foxes as pets. They're not pets. It's unfair to the foxes. And not good for us either. taking my sticks. They know, but it's only until they're better. Are they licensed wildlife rehabilitators? Because <laughs> if not, my answer stands. That's unfortunate, idiotic person. That's their username, I'm not calling them that. Can I have a raccoon as a pet? No! Wreath! Wreath, come here! Wreath! Do you have chicken? Uh-oh. Somebody heard chicken. Do you want this chicken? That's all I have. That really is all I have, look. Nice. Fox breathing ASMR. No. <laughs> I held on to that. You <laughs> can't hold on to that. That was that was a close one. <laughs> Is something up there? Is that Flip? He likes Flip. They're friends. Can I have the box as a pet? Yeah, if you want to buy this tunnel and put eyes on it, you go for it. I support that. Friends. All right, well, we will leave this tunnel in here. I'm gonna put it where it's in a good view for the cam so you can see Reed play with it later too because he didn't get a chance to. Reed, don't be scared. I'm just gonna put this here. He's scared. <laughs> All right, tunnel's gonna go there. Um, we have a, it's kind of fun. Good choice, guys. We have one more thing to do and then We'll switch it to the cams. You guys can watch uh, the marmosets with their bears and the foxes with their tunnel. Oh, I didn't really consider that. Yeah, it, the tunnel's flying uh, with the wind. 
Well, hopefully you can still see it. Never gonna give you what. Never gonna say goodbye. Never gonna run around and I might actually end the workday today at like six. We're not filming anything, right? No. No, I think that's it. Sick. Yeah, the bears are just sitting there. <laughs> Definitely warm by now. It's only five. It's like four right now. For us. Sorry, it was kind of last minute that I decided to do that. Okay. It's 11 p.m., what do you mean? Right. Okay, I'm gonna wash my hands really quick, and then, and then, we're good. How's it going? Okay. Sweet, thank you. Never gonna get. Finn went through it. I think he had a good time. Reed did not, obviously, but yeah, he did take bits though. He came up like right next to the camera and me. Flip being the camera is one entity. Thank you for the sub. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Back to the studio. Um, guys, see big 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 um thank you to flip for filming today as always when it's 104 degrees outside and i have never heard him complain about the heat once which is remarkable and probably because he's a lizard but we won't talk about that drakes for flip yep 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 um Um, Oliver is here still. Would you ever consider doing a native garden school the importance of native plants for Connor? You want to leak? Would you ever consider doing a native garden? Stream to teach him. Yeah, my mom's coming to do it at the end of October. We're starting the pollinator garden. The end of October. All right. Um, I'm gonna run this one really quick. What? Um, flip. We are set. Thank you. Do you want a pop tart or a fruit snack or a stroop waffle or a bag of talkies? Stroop waffle. Yeah. You have stroop waffles. He wants a stroop waffle. Flip got a Stroop waffle. He's so excited. She's really upset. Um. All right. 
All right, guys. Hey, welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. Thank you so much, Flip. I will see you on tomorrow. <laughs> see you tomorrow. tomorrow. Yeah, collab at one. Uh, yeah. What time? One. one. But he's going to be late. He's. S fan's gonna be late. Um, I'm positive. But yeah, if you get here at one, it'd be great. <laughs> pay flip in cash now? No, I don't pay flip in cash. Shouldn't pay flip at all. That's not true. <laughs> the only reason I wouldn't pay flip for something is because he refuses to charge for anything. That's not my problem, it's his. <laughs> no. Okay, flip gets paid. Let's, let's <laughs> not let's not do that. Okay, um, you guys, welcome. Uh, I have something really fun to share with you guys. I have something really fun to share with you guys, and it's it's uh, introducing Glossier. Glossier is a makeup skincare brand uh, that I am a fan of. I have been a fan of for a while. 15,000 bits said payment for Flip. Do you know how much that is, Flip? Nope. That's $150. Whoa. Whoa, he's rich. That's like what he makes in a month here. I can almost afford my Aldeus tattoo now. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you for the bits. I appreciate it. That's awesome. Um, Glossier. Uh, stretch. 32 shades of skin enhancing, skin enhancing stretch fluid foundation and stretch balm concealer. Made for real life. Their mission is to provide the best skin enhancing formulas for natural looking skin for a range of skin tones and types. Um, so you can find coverage that you want, whether you want a sheer coverage or a dewy finish or a light to buildable natural finish. They have it all, okay? They have a stretch fluid foundation and they have a stretch balm concealer. The fluid foundation, buildable, light to medium coverage, natural finish, 89% skincare based gel cream foundation that leaves skin looking moisturized with a natural to you finish guaranteed. It looks as good outside as it does in your bathroom mirror and they prove that on their website. Goodbye. I will show you. Goodbye, see you tomorrow. Goodbye. What a guy. Look at, look at this. Look at this. Introducing the Stretch Collection, 32 shades of skin first foundation and concealer made for real life. Hey, Alex. Hi there, Stretch Collection. The Stretch Collection, baby, let's go crazy. Let's check it out. Skin first, 32 flexible shades and 64 real faces. They took 64 people and took pictures of them outside and did not retouch the photos to show you how good the foundation is. That is brave. That is brave. They're all saying hi to you. Hello. Always color true. Seven shade families and five undertone groups for seamless, buildable, light to medium coverage that stretches with any skin tone. You may be thinking, uh, how do I know what my shade is if there are so many? Um, and the answer is that they have expert shade matching available now. It can be tricky, but they're here to help. You can email them and one of their experts will be happy to help you find your stretch shade. And you can also try matching with an existing foundation shade by searching the foundation tool. Get it? Foundation, but it's for finding your shade. So it's called foundation. They're also funny and that's important. Look, she is a tooth gem. Very cool. So we're talking about, we've talked about the, 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 the foundation, there's also a concealer. Boom, bam, check it out. Medium coverage, dewy finish, stretch balm concealer. Brightens the look of the skin, blends seamlessly for an undetectable medium coverage with a dewy finish. Never stiffens or cakes for flexible long wearing coverage up to 12 hours. That is a really long time for a concealer, that's kind of crazy. It has avocado and jojoba oils to support the skin's moisture barrier and leave skin looking hydrated and radiant. Jazz gets it. Um, 
the sound is scaring me. Let's see, let's see, let's see. The Stretch Bomb Concealer is the same formula you already know and love, but it's expanded its range to 32 foundation matching shades. Do you hear that? That's Alex, sorry. Um, other things about Glossier, guys. Uh, there's a shade finder, like I showed you. Um, there's individual product pages for both the Stretch Fluid Foundation and Stretch Bomb Concealer. Also showed you those things. And if you're a brand new customer for Glossier, you get 10% off your first order. Tell me that doesn't go crazy. <laughs> Tell me that's not crazy. Get crazy, get wild. Glossier is giving you a really good deal there. You can go check them out. Right now. 10%? Yes. 10%. Do you guys have any questions for me? Do you want to see the website again? You want to see what else they have? Because they have a bunch of other stuff, actually, that I can show you. This is specifically about their, um, about their stretch collection. But look at this. Check this out. You're not going to believe it. They have so much more. Skincare, cleansers, balms, treatments, sunscreen, moisturizer. Sets of all of those things. Makeup. Face, brow, eye, cheek, lips, tools, makeup removers. Body. All body. Let's see what that means. Like lotions and stuff. Deodorant. Perfecting cream. Oil wash. Hand cream. They're not messing around. Look at all these. They have freaking merch. Are you kidding me? Wicked. And sets, if you want to get someone a nice little gift, or you want to save with a set. The Super Pack, Super Bounce, Super Glow, Super Pure. Honestly, I love Glossier makeup. So do I. I started using it in college. I'm not, not even joking. Ooh, he's cute. Perfect glide eyeliner, but fun colors. Fun colors. Also, someone asked last time, I think... To see the brush. This is the brush. Face brush. Look at that. Curved shape glides across the contours of your face for an easy streak-free finish. Short, dense, super soft bristles for buffing. Targeted tip for hard to blend areas and swivel cover. Your new grab and go face brush. It's kind of a crazy look. I've never used a makeup brush like that, but it's kind of fun. Oh, she's gonna show us how to use it? Wait, is she? Stand by. This could be huge. Oh my god, she is. So sick. Wow, look at her go. Sweet. Sweet. All right, glossier. Thank you for the bounty. This is the second. I know if you, if you watch this on my stream and you're watching it here, thank you so much. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Thank you guys. Thank you guys. All right. Screaming. Squabed. Good stuff. Good stuff. Um. Y'all are not going to believe this. <laughs> You're just, you're just not going to believe this. Um, I really mean it. You're going to be so shocked. Uh, Red Baron made a Western film that's fully loaded. <laughs> that's as fully loaded as the new pizza. Um, and we're going to watch it. <laughs> you got to do what you got to do. You know what I mean? All right. Uh -huh. One Red Baron, fully loaded, hands on style. Hold on, partner. That there pizza's big enough for the both of us. Sure is. 
But this town ain't. Pete, really rude Rick learned that a punch in the face might be fun, but sharing a fully loaded Red Baron with friends is always tastier. Yeah, that's about all we have time for today. Get up. You know what, guys? If they have the budget for that, you know that they've sold a lot of pizzas. And that's a good sign. Thank you, Red Baron. All right, now I'm actually done. <laughs> now I'm actually done. That one popped up right after I went offline. I would have done it on my channel too. But at least we did it all here. Thank you guys. Uh, thank you guys for watching the stream today. I really appreciate it. Um, you have the competition behind. I, I literally am gonna I'm gonna go live just to do that one on my main. Not today, but something else. Now I need to figure out another stream just so I can run that penalty. <laughs> um, thank you guys for watching the Keeping Stream today. I appreciate it. If you're still here from my stream earlier today, I mega, mega appreciate it. You're super not fake. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. I will see you guys soon. Um, I will see you tomorrow, actually. I'll see you tomorrow at 1 p.m. for S-Fans collab. Be there or be fake. Goodbye.